go. Hello and welcome to Ramble On, episode nine. Nine with me, Aaron Hughes. Hello, Padre. And I'm Gosling. Absolutely, Jay. Absolutely. And we're playing. We're playing. Uh, we're playing some Master System games this and week. Why are we doing that? We're doing that because we're. Well, we have a poll, didn't we? We had a poll. We had a, <laughs> we had a poll. We had a poll. We're going to play them all. Yeah, we're going to go through all the consoles that were actually listed on there. Um, I think SNES and Mega Drive were equal. Right. Um, but we do a lot of SNES games anyway, so we played quite a few of them. So yeah. I feel like we've covered... We'll put that to the bottom of any potential list. Yeah. For that reason. Um, we've we've done a Neo Geo one, which, which won, hands down. Um, 10,000. Yeah, 10,000. Easy. Easy. Piece of piss. Um, <laughs> And uh, then we did Mega Drive last week. Um, now with the Mega Drive one, we I did have a theme of Marvel games, or specifically Avengers games, because yeah. of the Avengers movie coming out and stuff. Uh, so yeah. that's that. We know um, there's better games on there. Yeah, of course. But we'll cover that eventually. Definitely. And um, plus, we've got a retro review section now, haven't we? So William will review some. Yeah. So there's no point in us destroying all these uh, all these really good games. So I've I've just I've snaps some games for the master system up and how um, did you find that was there a wealth of um, content no Much content not particularly no. people are going to argue against this but I I, uh, I don't was a free was there something weird you could do when you when you switch the system on and you could get a, a yeah, game and I think Ma master one. system one uh, had I think Alex Kidd yeah, right. As as a secret game, and I think Master System Two had two games. It was like one do Alec, uh, Alec Kid in Wonder World yeah, or whatever. That, yeah. yeah, so you had you had uh, in Master System Two you had Alex Kid in whatever Jizzland, and if you held a couple of buttons down, you ended up with like a worm. Yes, yeah. I remember the worm thing. Um, I had a shitty old one. The like sort of that was Master System Two. The one, the angular one. Was that the two? Yeah, that's number it two. It seemed the with, shitty with the, one. With the red band across yeah. it. Yeah. Like Master System it 2. It looked horrible. Hideous. Hideous. And the boxes were disgusting. Yeah. They were like white. With, I mean, I like the look of them now because they seem old. Yeah, they were white with a grid, weird, grid on But it. they had a grid on and they were white. And yeah, they looked like small price time, games. <laughs> I remember thinking, yeah, it looked like budget yeah. fucking happy shopper uh, game. Well, I don't remember how much they were, the games. Were they expensive? <sighs> I, I don't know, you see, because I think when we started playing Master System, SNES had already been out. Uh, maybe we already had a Yeah, I got back. Yeah, I think it wasn't it was quite retro at the time. It was just old. Yeah, we just got shit, one. Like you fucking yeah. peasant. <laughs> you were a bit of a scrub. But, um, I think uh, we, we played a few games. Uh, I remember Rocky being good. I really enjoyed it. Oh, Rocky. yeah. Yeah, Rocky. Got, we'll be playing Rocky. Wicked. Yes. Fucking um, hell, yeah. Uh, and I think this is actually the Asterix game that we had. This is the one um, I I got. I swapped uh, a Spectrum ZX 128K 128K plus, plus 2, two for um, a Mega Drive. I already had some airs, So I was already like, you know, up to date and current at the time. But um, I still have my Spectrum. Or Specky. And uh, I think I got my dad to buy me this because I saw it in a magazine mm. and it looks fucking brilliant and it still actually looks all right this it is does, a fucking yeah. master system game yes look at it yes well, well, it looks fucking good well I've, I've got a couple of games that are going to come up uh, that I'm not going to tell you about you'll probably see when I'm selecting the game yeah right but I'll try um, to avert my eyes yeah I'll tell you to look right. away as I, yeah. as, I yeah. Yeah. Uh, as I turn because I think one of them particularly um, you might be surprised actually came out on this console. Wow. Um, Mortal Kombat. That came out on this console. That not surprised me. I think that was out on Spectrum as well. Yeah, I think it was out on everything. But, um, right, shall I crack on? Well, uh, favour of you. Is it um, <laughs> and you? Uh, Just so a and B and start, should we start? Should be two player. I can't remember if it were or not. Okay. Oh. Starts now. Yeah, it is now. Push up. Ooh. We'll play two player if we can Ooh, play two player. Yeah. There we go. And down to game start, I presume. Wow. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Intuitive. <laughs> Fuck me. Right. Choose your guy. Right, who was your favourite? My favourite was always uh, Go Get a Fix or um, what's the guy who used to play the loot? He used to play the loot all the time. I think he's uh, Catastrophics. I remember these two and the dog. 
Yeah, dogmatics. Yeah, cute yeah. as fuck. Um, but I mean, out of these, because out of these two, Asterix was the the man. Oh shit! Yeah, my bad. I'll leave it there. Right. Uh, so I'll be. Uh, oh no, I can't. I've got to be in. Can't change it. Right. No, it's no word. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, this is the game. This mode. is it. I remember the music. Well, this. Uh, I love it. I thought it was brilliant. Yeah. Well, this actually comes in the uh, really high up in the top fifty. Master System games. I think it's actually. I, I think it came number five on one of the lists that I saw, and number four was Mickey's Land of Illusion. Uh, wow, which this I is taking me back. Don't I think. Not like this. I don't think I even downloaded that. But yeah, sorry. I'll try to Mario it. Mario to it. Um, wow, this is fucking blowing my mind. Right, I'm going back. I'm traveling back in time. Mario it again. Yeah. Well, I didn't know. So much time in this fucking game. Yeah, I remember us getting to. Uh, I think oh, you take your portion. Yeah. No, no, Obelix will probably smash through that, won't it? Oh. Oh, oh no. But the deuce. There you ah. go. But then. Well, the, well, that one to what point? You might be able to go down that one now. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we've got some Mario stuff going on. Kill. This is a good game. It's out already. Right, there's only two buttons in there. Yeah, there is, yeah. Well, can you jump on the red car? The music, it's just weird how you remember these fucking tunes. Yeah. Well, I, I remember us getting to, I think it was a Colosseum level, where, um... I know, boy, we're going to play with something. There's more points than anything, you lost, lost some health, fine. But, um, but yeah, I think we got to the um, Colosseum level, and I seem to remember it was a spikes on the floor, and it became, it then went into platforming, yeah, skill they, level what which I, I didn't actually at the have. End, didn't they? Yeah. Oh well, yeah. I can still picture the magazine that was sort of had a review in or summer. Mm. Oh, I think we're going somewhere. I mean, it's turn up in a, like a what's it called? A, you know, like a stop when you're not more to it. And there. And grab the Mega Drive. No, it must have been a Sega magazine. It can't have been a Mega Drive. I'm mm. sure they didn't have one at that point because it was pretty old. But I think this game was still new. There was still many right. game for it. Right, he's dead. Oh, I thought it was new. Yeah, I, I thought I thought it was going to. Uh, I thought it would just glitch then, and we weren't allowed to play. But yeah, I do remember us playing this till stupid o'clock in the morning a lot of times. So it's pretty uh, good. Mm. Still, really? I can see. I can see. I can see the quality there. Hmm. I'll just tell it's pretty easy. Shiny. Plastic. Yeah, we're not going to hit a lot of the uh, cult classics in here. Um, you must be able to punch them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm not, we're not going to hit a lot of the cult classics that people might be begging for. Um, so it's just going to be a few just um, randomly hand picked games, basically. So, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, hang on a minute. My uh, reconnecting. Okay, we're dropping. Is anybody yeah. connected? Are you connected to internet? I am connected to internet. What I'm most connected to internet. Mm. Let me uh, get shut of it anyway. Useless. Boring. Go. No. Oh, oh yeah, now I remember the slippy, oh. slidey as hell. Maybe yeah. it's because he's a bit fat. Yeah, I'll be right. Oh. I don't want that film. Yeah, that's good. Some, um, yeah, prefer it's like, you will carry on. You will fucking carry on. And you'll get relief when you do the level. Mm. And only then. Oh. Did I didn't go down after that. No, well, this is a different, different level. Just a different level. Is this level two, or is it just the same level it's but the, the Obelix version? Obelix version. Wicked! It's nice, that, isn't it? I'm not too sure if you play single player, whether you do the same anyway. I bet you do. Yeah, I'm probably going to carry it on there. Um, okay. Oh, I've done it again. I'm a, I'm, I'm crap at platforming games. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel. Do a barrel roll. One life. Oh, one life. What the fuck? What are them? They're underneath? bones. Because I kept collecting bones. I have no fucking clue what they do. Dogmatic man. Pop oh, on. he's definitely in the game, isn't he? Yeah, I think there's a little. Uh, like mini missions in the other. Might be, I remember him being cute as fuck. Ah. 
In fact, do you not do this level in a minute and everything I've destroyed is destroyed? I just don't imagine that the Master System had that kind of prowess and memory. Yeah. Because I've got an extra life. I imagine this was cutting edge. I don't remember when it came out because I'm born either lazy and I don't bother checking this. Yeah, shit. we don't research um, stuff, but no, I mean, cause I feel like this was out really late on. That, that's my feeling. So I imagine this is, you know, as always, when you look at the start of a console generation, yeah. then you look at the end, fucking Jesus Christ, it looks so much better. Yeah, well, Last of Us is a prime example. Yeah, still not much looks better than that. Now, crazy. Yeah. And you, you expect people to hit the ground running, don't you, when they come out with a new console? You're like, well, hey, come on, this is going to be for this is yeah. four times more powerful, whatever. Show us. Yeah, we'll show you in about seven fucking years. Yeah. Well, I want to see it now, you dick. Yeah, I'm playing sure. like a fucking 360. What's up with you? Well, it's a bit shiny. Yeah? yeah, but it's not enough. I don't notice. Well, that's been the thing with me Xbox One up until recently when we've started releasing games. Witcher 3 is out this year. Yeah, this that should do it. That'll be one of the games that makes you go, oh, I've got next gen console. Mm. Feel good about it. Push up, that's what I'm meant to do. It's gonna be, oh, different decay. Oh, oh, wow. I seem to vaguely, ah, oh, right, I remember these oh, bricks now. Ah, uh, all right, okay, 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 okay. Are we gonna get all three in the right order? Oh. Oh, oh, just get a three, three. Yeah. yeah. A sniff your nose. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's a kiss your head! You didn't bend the other way. Yeah, wow, well, uh, <laughs> mm. Me. That's two. Round two, one, go. Good stuff, where's the. Uh, That's two right there. Wicked. Yeah, we'll do uh, another level. We'll one more level. No, well, we'll I'll do one. Yeah. Well, 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 it's just. Well. We've got, we've, got, we've got stuff to get through. I don't know how many we've got, you see. Uh, well, we've got, we've got a few. Got a few. We've got enough. We've got enough and I don't want to be rushing. Oh, that's going to spin. I knew it was going to fucking spin. Oh well, this has been pushing too much. Dog man's sake. I wonder if it's like get 10 and he just goes fucking wild. I can't remember. I should, I should do all this shit, but I can't fuck it out. <laughs> You've got more than me. It's not you had about six. Well, I'm obelix, isn't it? Oh god, I was playing Gun Clive today and it was doing my pissing head in. Have you not finished that one? Oh, okay, yeah. I've not, not finished it yet, no. It's, it's a good game, though. It's not too long. It's doing my whole backside. It's I think I played it on plane somewhere. Right. I don't know where the fuck I was going. Yeah, it's a really good game. Nice and simple. Because it's cheap as well, mm. it's just like... A couple of quid, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing. Open swim. Oh shit, no, I don't want swim. No! I don't want to die either. Oh, oh you bad. So I'm here again, won't it? Oh, it's got me in. Oh, Alright, yeah, of course. Alright, we'll marry away. Do I don't want to. I'm really used to thinking, you know, his arms are right in front. Yeah. It always looked like he would have like, so just putting his lips out and palms his lips. I kissed you. Because you really quiet to leave you here when you get that. How old would we have been when we played this? Uh, I've, I've got a feeling 11, maybe older actually. I think we played this later, didn't we? Again, um, I don't know. Oh shit, dose. Oh, I know. Oh, I throw it in the throw, water. Throw a bomb in the yeah. water. Yeah. Right. Kill. I don't have to throw it further, to be honest. Maybe I'll just keep going on. Keep going on. That's not going to work, is it? It is, because you'll jump on that now. Oh, and see. you put another one. It seems like a hard way to do it, doesn't it? Yeah. You must be able to throw it. I bet I'll push up and do it. Yeah. There we go. Oh, well. Right. I'm right on it. Alright, sorted. That's good. Cool. I think. Oblates froze like boulders or something. Yeah, I think you have to collect some later on in game, don't you? Yeah. What is Get in. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, shit. 
weapons, smack him in the face. Oh, fuck no. Got checkpoints oh. though. Once I hear something shocking, I'm taking a shit right now. Thanks, Steve. I, I like it when you contribute to our show. <laughs> it always. Uh, what? Fucking hit him. It always helps. Thanks a lot, man. But why is that shocking? Oh, he's shitting and watching this? Yeah. Oh, at least he's not wanking and watching this. Well, I think he, he wouldn't, he just wouldn't admit to doing <laughs> it. I, I, I think he does it anyway. But. Yeah, I don't know what he'd admit to, that old fucker. <laughs> One more hit and he's gone. Yes. Give me that extra uh, health. Brilliant. Mm. Brilliant. Yeah, it's pretty easy, so I can still picture doing it now. It probably does mm. get stupid. No, yeah, I, I can't remember what level it is. I think it might be like, uh, well, we get, well, we're get we travelling through north of France at the moment, but we got to the Colosseum, which is obviously in Italy, so mm. we uh, Do you reckon we finish it? No. I've, There'll be a stupid bastard level somewhere. I just, I think something else came out. We moved on. And we just moved on. I wouldn't be surprised if Mortal Kombat 2 came out on snares, because we just lost the shit when that came out on yeah, snares, yeah. didn't we? Um, so that was fucking expensive as well. I think that was like a 60 70 quid a one. See, we're too down about now. Now, why is wanking on the toilet your next thought, Adam? This is show me games. Um, show me shitting. Uh, well, we'll change game. So, there is that one. Uh, look away. Oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> fucking stirring. Well, I did, I did mention it so. Where I've got it, I didn't realise we had it. So, uh, oh, Disney. Mm. This is uh, Mickey Mouse Land of Illusion. What was the other one? Forest of Illusion. Castle of Illusion. Castle of Illusion. Castle of Illusion. Um, it's like a fireman when he changed his costume as well. I can't remember what that Well, was. that was the Mega Drive one. I can't remember what that one was called now. I don't think I played it. Because the Forest of Illusion, I always, I always thought there were a game called Forest of Illusion. Well, that's, but it, that's Zelda's Forest, isn't it? No, that's Super Mario World's Forest. Oh. We've just done Forest of the I think it? it's Mario, yeah, I think yeah. it's both. Right, okay. So this is this, this came out in 1992. So Snares out Mega Driver out, because uh, me and Liam played uh, Batman Returns, which came out in 1992. We played it on the Snares. Yeah. And that was a few years into life, so this means, you know, Sega are really good at, well they were, um, this looks decent though. Well, I mean, still, this is still make, making games for mm. the consoles long after the consoles have died. I think they still make certain. Well, so say this will be one of the like later ones. Yeah, the later ones are just fucking. Which is probably probably all right. Yeah. Um, right. So this this was higher. This came higher up in the fifty, and then uh, the the asterisk game. Mm. Oh, it's got a world map. That's always map, so. good. Yeah, press the button. Let's start. Oh, you have to press B. Alright, and then jump. That doesn't help. Good luck. Mm. Do a body slam. Bum bash in. Yeah, you do. You jump and then you press the other button and he does a dosh. A dosh. Mm. Dosh, like that. Right. Oh, I thought that was climb on that one. Yeah, so this was higher up. Now, I reckon... It's alright. I know why we're higher up now, because it's a lot busier. Yeah. But... We all have asked to have one. Well, you can't mess around. It's one of the best French exports ever, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. the only French export ever. Oh! That was not good. Alright. Well, I want to go to lady. Oh. Oh, we don't fucking... Animation thing going on. That's pretty cool. Well, certainly anywhere. That's a waste of time. Wouldn't. So you'd have your Mega Drive one, and then you'd have this with the. I don't the, think the Land of Illusion movie. came out on the Mega Drive. Um, It'd be like an equivalent of mm. whatever they had at the time. Yeah. Can I get off this? No. I think you have to push up on them, right? Oh, so I've got to jump over it, right? Well, no, no. You meant to get into it because there's spikes there, aren't there? So get into it, it'll drag you across to the next vine and then you push up on the next vine. Oh, yeah. So I jump into that, yeah. 
No, no, I didn't try and uh, just put it there. Try and uh, be on here and then drop on. See, this doesn't look as interesting and fun to me because I'm not a big fan of Mickey, and I'm so. I've no doubt. How's the mechanics feel? Yeah, it's fine. All right, I'll push up when you get over there. Feels a little bit. Just a bit weird though, because used to be Mario and just jumping on people's heads. Hmm. Unless you get some more abilities. Uh, quite possibly. I assume you do. Well, it looks like you, you can power up anyway, because you've only got two stars of health. Oh. Oh. Need that. Shit, so I want to bounce on his head and get up there, don't I? For that shitty chest. Go for it. Which is what I'm going to do. Dush! Coin. What the fuck was that thing? I'm looking. I don't know. Points. Oh, look, tries instead of lives. Oh, yeah, tries. Yeah. I haven't had that for a while. Well, it's less aggressive than life, isn't it? Yeah. Life implies you're going to actually gonna die. die. Shit. Ah, you would have had to lure the spider over there, didn't you? Oh. That was quite quite a nice. So this is like a little more puzzly than the other one. Yeah. Straight away. I think the music is fucking shit. It well, it's my system. But the other Asterix and Obelisk was good. Yeah, it's yeah. My memory of like going, oh, I remember this tune. But I don't know. That's what it's good. Oh. Try your theory. <laughs> no, do it here. <laughs> no, you dickhead. Uh, I'm uh, bored of this game. Yeah, uh, I don't think game devs got better in the 90s. Or do it wasn't the limitation, but uh, the tools were. Okay, fair enough. Uh, stay. You're going to have to uh, show me how to allow the text to actually wrap around a bit better than it actually is doing. But yeah, that's up to your time. Uh, also, point. also, Steve, while, while we're live, um, I would like you to do a uh, a fighting game and racing game little program, really. That'll be cool. Yeah. For show me games. Maybe you and Adam can do that. Maybe. Maybe. We can have, like, I don't know, Tuesday or something. It could be yours. We know you like fighting games. Yeah. We know you're good at racing games. Five or ten minutes. We're right. 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 Get this game off. It's, yeah. Shit. I feel a little bit depressed. I'm yeah, happy with it. Crap. Right. Look away. Right. Boom. Right. I'll rub. Europa. Okay. Well, that sounds fucking awful. Yeah, this was apparently a sequel to Outrun. Was it not an Outrun 2? There was an Outrun 2, but not before this Outrun. came out. <sighs> yeah. Maybe this is more like an expansion pack. Oh, what the fuck? Yes. Weird. Whoa, wow. This looks amazing. Wow. This is, whoa. Well, <laughs> the house is a parliament as well, Toss. Just, these cars appear. Wow, this looks shit. It's um, <laughs> headache material. All right. Oh, oh, oh. you've gone the wrong way. You got bullets. What? Huh? Yeah. I can punch. Oh, this is like what's that game called? When you punch and fucking road rash. Best. Road rash. I could have got road rash for this, but I thought I'd try something else. Uh, and this is road rash. So it looks like Steve's not helping us out at all. He is. He's gonna do it. So thanks, Steve. I'll destroy him. I'll tell you what, I waste all my time doing everything there. <laughs> Whoa, those houses look amazing. There are houses in Parliament and Akinori Brick there. Akinori! Akinori Brick. Come on, keeping it local. Keeping it fresh, keeping it real. It's, it's terrible this game. Is it? You need to play it to experience. I'm going to have to experience the play. Just pure shyness. Right, well while this is on, let's hit the topic then. Okay, let's topic it up. Um, this is shit this game. Right. Okay. So, Mirror's Edge, did you ever like that game? I uh, played the demo. Um, I played the demo. And the demo was interesting. Um, didn't end up getting the game. 
no. because of the reviews being so harsh against it. And then much later after it got released, uh, like a few years afterwards, people were going, Remember Mary right? Yeah, so, it's weird that, isn't it? The, the, um, that's, a, that's another case. It's of, a bit like that way, um, that alien game. Um, what's it called? The, the, the new one. Isolation. Isolation. Mm. It was like, shit, shit, shit. Now people are like, like, we were straight away. We were, we were like, this, like, is, this fucking is fucking good, brilliant. this game is this, brilliant. This, this feels like alien. Yeah, and we're like, shit, shit, shit. And then it's like, now they're saying, it's good that game. Why does everybody say shit? Yeah. No, like, everybody doesn't you say You said shit. it was shit. You, you said it was shit. You said it was shit. <laughs> everybody said it was good, who actually. It's, it's just because they have like 2,000 games to play. So they're like, right, we need to get this review out. So they're rushing it. That's not a yeah. game where you go in and go, right, I need to finish this game really quick, Call of Duty style. This is like, I'm going to die. Yeah. I need to chill the fuck out. That thing kills you, yeah. and it has no set pattern. And it's it's a re it's reasonable as well. You yeah. have to take your time. If you don't take your time, then you're just gonna fucking you just gonna, gonna get kicked in. Which is, I think, a lot of reviewers just didn't get that. And I think it was it took them a long time afterwards to actually understand that that's what you're meant to do. Take your time. The alien will fuck off. But yeah, uh, so Mirror's Edge going But I didn't like the combat with the Mirror's Edge. Uh, well, I only got to a little bit. Cause yeah, was a demo, I, I, I but I'll just sort of it out. like, eh, what the fuck, something to do with your gun and I don't know. I don't know, so I'm not that bothered about it, but there's a new one coming out. Confirmed 2016, I think it's the first half of 2016. Right. So it's a while off, but I don't know, I kind of don't see the point. I don't think the other one did that well. No, I'm not excited for it. I think it has a cult sort of following, but I don't, I don't get it. I, I, I've seen a lot of videos of um, Mirrors Mirrors Edge since since it's been released, and the combat looked real interesting. And I'm like, okay, well, during the demo, all these funky takedowns and shit. It didn't explain very well in demo. Now yeah, you know what I'm like with handholding in games. It does my fucking head in. It pisses me off. But yeah. that was a demo. I wouldn't have minded a bit of handholding in the demo. Yeah, you give me some one. handholding. Tell you me how one. to do shit. It's like, all right, fair enough. But um, I mean, this game's got a lot of fucking shit going. On. This is terrible. Look away. Was he in the fucking water? That it was in the water. Uh, Way brace. Way bracing. You're on a jizz biscuit. Right, so they just went mental with this version. Yeah, I did it. Right, okay. Well, we'll get on something which we might be able to play and talk over. Right, okay. Boom. Back in there, too. I'm top man. Oh. So, Liam was playing the Senez version of this yes. on his video. Yes. Which we had. We, yeah. Very and all oh, I remember of that is. Bush! Yeah. Bashing two guys' heads together and fucking loving it. And could you throw people in the background as well? Yeah, you can throw them up against the wall. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can chill them. It was good. It I was remember good. liking it. I remember this bit. No, I forgot about it, but I watched uh, some like angry video game there. There's some men. Mm. And there's this bit a few levels in. And it's the only time you do it in the game. It's one of them things. Oh, right. Where you sort of, you go down, um, or you have to open a, like a pack, you know what they're called in the floor, like a the, drain yeah, thing. Yeah, manhole cover. Manhole cover. Mm. And um, you just you get stuck at this level and you're like, I don't know, where do I go in this room? What the fuck do I do? So you start thinking like you do anybody that plays games, you just think when someone you're stuck in a room, you just think it's glitched, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's fucked up. Bugged up. I've got it's this fucked up game. And um, so then you reset and you play it all again, and then you get there again and it's fucked again. And you probably do this several times. Mm. And then finally you spend probably about it feels like an hour, but uh, a long time. Mm. And then you do something weird. And then it just opens. Yeah. And it's the, it's the only time where you have to do some like pull down and press fucking all your buttons or something stupid. I, I and at no point does it say do that do or that. give any inclination to do that. Was, uh, weird. I remember one of, one of the more famous points of, of that for me, uh, which stands out a lot, uh, was flashback level two. Hmm. You start off at this terminal. You walk all the way to the right of the screen, there's a platform, and then right at the top of the screen, there's another platform, but you can't see it because it's literally at the... Right on the line. Right there, if you're looking at the monitor right now. Oh, right, yeah. Right there, you've got this other level here, right? And climb up it, climb onto it, and I'm like, right, run and jump, and he missed. Run and jump, and he missed. Run and jump, and he missed. And then we, we rented the game at the time, and we, we couldn't get past that bit, and we took it back. After renting it, we got through the first level in the jungle and everything. Like it was absolutely fucking brilliant. And then we got to that bit, we got stuck. Um, 
And then I think we read a magazine, something probably CBG at the time, uh, Computer Video Games. Um, yeah, no fucking internet for that shit. No, no. Uh, and it, it mentioned somebody, we did the questions section and somebody asked that and it's, you just run. You get to the edge of this platform, it's the only mm. time in game where you just run and he auto jumps. Oh, fuck it. And yeah. it was like, we were stuck! And she's like, why, oh. why have you put that in there? <laughs> it's just so fucking... So many of them in the end. Wow, stupid. this looks fucking not as good as some NES. No, but it looks more like the original NES one. Uh, this one. Um, yeah, so, well, what other topics? Well, I'll let you play this for a... I'll play this for a bit. For a, a, a short while. Before we burn through my... Uh, Two topics. No, well, I've got to talk about. Oh yeah, I'll, uh, I may as well waffle about. You can waffle. So, I was going to go over this someday. I was in a lot of pain, self-inflicted, um, and uh, I decided that I probably shouldn't go to something that you went to. Yes, um, I went to was a games expo over in Blackpool in the north of England. Um, called Play Expo, and it's got a bunch of arcade games there that you can play free. Loads of loads of uh, consoles all set up. You can just wander around. There's also um, some developers there. Uh, spoke to a local developer who's making a game called Wolverblade, yes. which is a side-scrolling co-op beat 'em up, which is what I've been asking for, and he's producing it. It's coming out exclusively on the Xbox One. Right. He's aiming for. September time for release. It's based in England and Scotland cool. during the uh, Roman invasion. So Neat. you're you're playing you're playing some British tribe member that is fighting against the uh, the Roman oppressors. The invaders. Yeah, get rid of them. Um, get and, them out. and it plays really nice. It's going to be very very hard. It's going to be a very very hard game. From from playing it, it is. Um, it's quite difficult, uh, but it's really good. There is a trailer out uploaded onto Show Me Games page. Go and check it out. It is a very old trailer. Uh, they've added a hell of a lot more into it now. Show Me Games Group. Show Me Games Group. Sorry. Um, they've added. He's added a hell of a lot more into it now than uh, than last year. Last time I played it. But yeah, it's going to be local co-op for the campaign, and then there's an arena mode where it's just take on waves and waves of enemies. There's going to be an online um, scoreboard. So you can compete with your friends. But what happens as well, what he's going to do is it's going to be teams as well. So if you're playing that co-op, both your names go up onto that scoreboard. Right, cool. Right, so if somebody comes along and sees the scoreboard, they'll go, ah, them two again. Or if there's one, like let's say I played a game with you and we get a high score and then I played a game with somebody else and get a high score, my name will be with it. And I'll be like, that guy's pretty fucking good at this game. So you should share, share, share all this kind of stuff. It's, cool. uh, yeah, it is, it's, it's pretty nice. Oh, I've um, seen that before. It's... It's made in Unity, but all the art as as uh, assets are completely original. I think it's been developed by one or two guys, and I think they're around Darwin area in um, in the UK. So uh, keep an eye on that. That's coming out on Xbox and uh, and Steam. Xbox. I like the trailer. Mm, it's good. It's nice. It's sort of like we are beasts up north. It's yeah. sort of like that. it's only cool. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's it's pretty good. So uh, when I was over in. Um, in the play, um, I also got a chance to experience Oculus Rift because you know how much I've got a massive eye on for uh, VR games. Yes. Well, I played a few more uh, things pissing around with uh, with the Rift. Now, in the in the shop sec uh, section, the um, the trading area, the trade store section of uh, of the Play Expo. Yeah, uh, there was a PC stall. Uh, which were just vlogging all manner of like, high-end PCs and stuff. Now he had a PC rig set up with a thrust joystick, so a forward and back right. thrust joystick, a um, omnidirectional actual flight joystick, cool. Oculus Rift, and you're playing Elite Dangerous. And Elite Dangerous is a uh, sounds very familiar. <laughs> is a um, space trading game. So you're in oh, space, right, yeah. you fly around, you go to trading posts and all manner of stuff. Anyway, the demo that he had up was basically an asteroid belt. So I'm in this asteroid belt, sat there, headset on, asteroid belt. Uh, now you can look all the way around the cockpit. Mm. The 
player in game actually has his hand on a joystick and hand on a thrust. Do you know, I think I've seen a trailer for that. Yeah, it's really good. It is really good. I watched uh, Yahtzee uh, Crossshow. He, he did a Let's Play of it at one point. Really yeah. good game. Um, now, the thing is, like, with Rift, most of the games I've played, you don't actually see the body. So I sat there, and my hand was on a thrust joystick, and in-game, my hand was on a thrust joystick. My hand was on a flight joystick and in game and did that drag right. you in more and when I twisted my hand he twisted his hand in game Kill. and all this all the actions I were making were actually replicated in game which made it very very strange because I had this weird feeling going on in my head it was like ah, I'm controlling it and it feels right okay and then uh. I started thinking right I'll wiggle my fingers so I wiggle my fingers and obviously my fingers aren't recognized by by Rift yeah but it felt like sleep paralysis Oh, like you wanted it, it to move. It was like, it, like it stopped happening. moving, right. right? But it was really good. So, anyway, I'm flying around. Asteroid belt. I started boosting towards an asteroid. I got, got the controls down straight away. It was just so intuitive. Mm. And I'm looking at this giant asteroid just there, all sitting in 3D with a rift. And I look anywhere in the cockpit, and I, I decided to fly over this asteroid. And as I came over the crest of the asteroid, there were no asteroids below it. It was just emptiness, just space. And you know that feeling that you get in your spine when, you, when you're up high somewhere and you just look down and your spine just pulled on you? Like, yeah. Oh. yeah. I did that. I had that feeling that I was about to drop somewhere. It was incredible. Cool. Now, now the rift... Pulling you in. The rift isn't as high definition as I would like and the frame rate, or the, or the refresh rate of the, uh, the headset isn't that high at the moment. So when you turn your head too quickly, it does judder a bit. Right. But it's very, very, very good. Very good. I'm really sold on, on, on VR. It's just, next again. Well, you mentioned the finger things. There is like, some of the, some fuckers made, which replicates that. Yes, yes, there is, yeah. Your hat, and it will stop if you grip something. It'll yeah, it will stop. Well, like I think we, we showed, a, we showed a video, didn't we, of, yeah. uh, of all these different technologies and stuff. So, that worked for that game. That mm. was really good. Um, and then I played another a couple of tech demos and stuff with it. Br brilliant. Um, another thing I need to show off, or just uh, in case you guys didn't know, I'm very good at Mario Kart. He's better, but I'm very good at Mario Kart. <laughs> and most of my friends are better than me, but I'm very good because like my friends are better. So it's a bit like chess. You play against hard yeah, people, yeah. you get better. So me and Liam were playing Double Dash. Cool. Individuals. Uh, seven consoles set up. Wow! And did you have your own screen? Like uh, old screen, old screen. Right? That's struggle when it's small. Yeah, or everybody had their own screen, and it was basically me and Liam first and second alternating constantly. And them races were hard races, but we were there. Skills. And uh, so we kicked ass. We basically rule house at Double Dash you know, over in Blackpool. Well, you can help me do the 200cc then on Mario Kart and uh, yeah, well, get the fucking it. stars on all new courses because you haven't seen them yet. I have, yeah. haven't played it yet. No, I haven't, yeah. I haven't played that. So, yeah, so uh, play Expo. There's another one coming to Manchester uh, October time. So if if you're into games and you're in the North West or even if you don't mind travelling in, in UK to go to a Gamescom, it's about 15 quid for a ticket. All the games there are free to play, and uh, it's just a really good, really Were good time. Were there any uh, cosplay people there? There was some cosplay people there. There was a very, uh, well, I found it very attractive. There was a woman dressed as... Um, Me. Black Widow. <laughs> All right, wicked. Right, so, yeah, I really liked her. She was good. So, there's, yeah, it's cosplay, event, cosplay events. There's competitions that are going on. Really good. It's a, it's a nice way to spend a weekend, anyway. Um, so, yeah. Have a look online, type in Play Expo and have a look for the next one, which, I, like I say, I think is in Manchester, uh, October time, and definitely worth going if you're into your games. Did they have a random shit celebrity? I was there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking white, have a do. Right. In fact, they're probably sick of seeing me just fucking dying and stuff. So if you finish this game now, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> That's I'll, I'll have a quick go at this. Yeah, so it was, it was good, it was good. Um, which route did you take? Uh, route 2 drove me nuts, I tried them both. Oh, route 1 was the easier one, for me anyway. Route 2 you've got to do some bat swinging shit. That bat swing! A bat swing, yeah. And yeah, you can do that and you can do that. That seems to be everything.
You can swim past them. You can get on the roof with a bit of fucking round. God. And you don't fight anybody, really. It's quite boring. This is shit, this game. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah. Yeah, it's not very good. Is all I'll say about this. And I played it. Now you're waffling. This is shit. Next game, close your eyes. It works. It works, the game works. Uh, never played this one. And Jan Jones, I would think, as soon as I heard that, and that sort of confirmed it. I put this on uh, for two reasons. So we can talk about the movie that's coming out. Are they rebooting it? They're making another Indiana Jones movie. But are they rebooting it? I think they're rebooting it. Because they need to just fucking... I think we should just leave it. Stop. I just think we should just leave it. I'm sick of, sick of reboots now. Star Wars I can go along with because it's not a reboot. But what they do is... They make a film like Superman. Yeah. They fuck up when they do a new one. They don't like it. Nobody likes it. So then they reboot it. And that's what they did with this, isn't it? They continued it. Yeah. Did some corny shit trying to get his... Sun, you know, whatever the f I don't know what we're going on there. Some weird swinging it's terrible. shit. And then they're like, yeah, we well, shit that movie. So then they've done what they always do. We'll reboot it then. Uh, the guy who's going to play him is going to be Chris Pratt, uh, who is the Star Lord from. He's quite funny. In that he film, is quite funny. I like him, but I don't want him to just fucking. I know, I know. He's, he wants, he wants work, and he wants to get it fucking here, there, and everywhere. But the trouble is with, with Hollywood. As soon as somebody gets a fucking minutia of uh, approval, yeah, he's on everything. You know that's what happened to Shia LaBeouf. That's why he was uh, all of a sudden in an Indiana Ro Indiana Jones movie. So yeah, it's, it's like big at the time. I yeah. think he is a relatively good cast for it. But maybe if they are going to do it, get somebody brand new. Get somebody. Get somebody brand new. Get somebody who's not going to play it like Ford, because he's going to be Ford esque. Isn't he? It's going to be kind of cheeky. It's going to be that. He's got to be rakish um, charm. I want somebody no, brand new, so it's a completely different. There's Indiana no Jones. point remaking it unless rebooting it. Sorry, unless you're going to keep some of the charm from you know the style. Well, yeah, and you need to sort of. For me, this isn't like Spider-Man or something. We can just sort of reset and do something else. Go mm. on another fucking adventure. Put another actor in and. That's to why me, I don't this, think they should do it. This has to be part of the world. So if they're gonna do it, I can see where they were trying to in the number four, where they yeah. were trying to do his son and they were trying to continue, but it's like, well, yeah, but you made a shit film, so nobody's yeah. gonna see that. Um So yeah, if you're gonna reboot it then it's gonna be hard. You're gonna have to somehow make it tie in really, but not yeah. because you've already fucked that up. Yeah, they should just fucking leave it, you well, know. Another reason why I think they should just leave it is what worked for the first three indie movies was the fact that it was set in a specific period of time. Yeah, so it was like so the Nazis. So during the Nazis, there was all this thing about Nazis after gold and after uh, after religious iconography. Where are they going to set it? Are they going to set it back in Nazi land? Because if they do, then they're basically just literally remaking the first three films. They might call a duty it. They might want Modern Warfare. Well, it. if they're going to do it Modern Warfare, they can't do it Modern Warfare because then it becomes like a shitty Tomb Raider movie or, or a. Uh, what's, what's the ones with uh, Nicolas Cage in? National Treasures. I reckon that's exactly what it's going to be. And they'll ruin it because the thing that works as a charm for those films was the fact that we don't have the modern technology of, right, what I'll do now, I'll Google it. <laughs> oh shit, what's Asian Aramaic for fucking open sesame? I'll Google it. <laughs> All right, brilliant. Yeah, and they like the major drama is going to come across is like shit, man. I'm on battery. They don't have the <laughs> right, so fucking doctor or anything anymore. No, it's just the answer. Google it. I'll Google it. Fuck you. Yeah, okay. it takes away some of the so, like, skills. Uh, as though, as much as I don't mind the idea of Chris Pratt playing it, if they are going to do an Indiana Jones film, for me, I think they should just get a, a relatively unknown guy, either make it a very serious movie, because if they get Chris Pratt in is going to be it's going to be indie trying to be indie with modern well, I don't, sensibilities yeah, I'd so like him. sack it off I'd like him for him to be that charismatic sort of indie type character mm. and what they could do is make it dark as fuck just fucking like evil just fucked up 
minging moving Make him with a bastard. horrible tone. But he could be the fucking still like quite funny because the 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 original ones they were they were sort of silly anyway, weren't they? Really? Yeah, they, they were ridiculous. Sort of, they were... You don't need to see that again. No, they no. were good. Well, the, the thing is, there's no point trying to steal that kind of thing back, is there? I mean, Ford, in the first Indiana Jones, you know, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and in Last Crusade, was fantastic. Um, Temple of Doom is a shit film. When you're a kid, you enjoy it. Watch it now, it's a shit film. Yeah. It isn't just a poor movie, but this film's brilliant. The first film's fucking brilliant. The fourth film's awful. Leave it. Well, like I say, reboot it, but completely dark. So you can carry on with Star Wars because it's the universe. There's well, so, so many times you can exactly. retread fucking, I'm going to find some shit, I'm going to be silly. Well, they tried um, bringing it more up to date with the fourth one, didn't they? They thought, right, well, it's a few years, so now we've got the Cold War, and now we use Russians as enemies, and it didn't work. No, oh, we've got some aliens in there. It didn't work. I don't mind the aliens, and it's just they fucked it up. Yeah, just fucked it up. So, um, we, uh, we had this. Did we? We had this on um, Spectrum. No, that was Temple of Doom. Were it Temple of Doom? Yeah. It was fucking horrible. It was fucking horrible. But it was Indiana Jones, so we kept playing it. Yeah. You're dead. No? I like it. I like uh, it. I like fucking hell. Up. Again, it doesn't look too oh bad. I remember God. Master System games looking like shit. <laughs> Don't feel good, does it? Oh. <laughs> <No. laughs> It seemed a lot more interesting than Batman. Oh god. An outrun Europa. Fucking <laughs> that was a gash. Oh. Actually even I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say even um I wouldn't say dizzy. Uh, Next time I die, have a look at Indiana Jones' face on that rope. In fact, I'm gonna try and kill myself. Just well, so you can see it. it. Yeah, right, okay. Watch his face, everybody, look at his face. Ah, oh, you need the arm thing, yeah, I'll just directly stirring it just his blank bed. <laughs> I think I think the spectrum one might have been better. Because yeah. it's hard to get to like a, a rail bit or something. It's, something you, it's really difficult to climb up this fucking Well, the mountain. spectrum one were kind of isometric at one point, weren't it? Where you had to oh, collect all the kids. Yeah. And then you went on the rail part and it would just, yeah. Yeah, there was a rail thing that was very difficult to get past. If I ever got past it, I'm not sure. Mm. I like the music. There's no fucking music. Jesus Christ. Yeah. There's no atmosphere to this game. Oh, there's a bit of music. There's his mincing rope. Oh, I've got a short point, you lucky bastard. Uh, what I do like is there's only two points. <laughs> Da, 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 fucking love it. Mm. Right, jump. Well, jump. Like the way I get a feel for his actual Oh, go that way, they'll respawn enemies. In oh, he does a weird stuff. fixed jump. Yeah. It's a fixed jump. Isn't it annoying? That's fucking massive, what annoying. Oh, watch out, you bang your head on the roof. Oh, shit. You yeah. die, but you just, you just bang down. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I don't like fixed jumps in games, I want to use a bit of skill. <sighs> Oh, I feel depressed because there's no music. Ah, I feel depressed. Shit, you need to sing me a song. I'm dead again. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. <laughs> it could be worse. We could be listening to that fucking song that yeah, we just on, on a loop constantly. I don't care. I'm gonna get as far as I can with this horrible music. <laughs> You've got seven seconds to go. Seven? It's time! <laughs> it's fucking time. Jesus Christ! Are you dead? Wow. Was, how, where was this on the fucking list? Of um, This was quite high up. You understand why I say it, right? And I say this now in, in, intendedly insulting those people who massively love this console. This console was shit. They didn't have another console. 
They, they, their parents bought them the wrong console. They slipped and fell and bought the wrong console. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah it's... Right. Okay. Next. Oh, God. Look away. Well, shit. Do it. <laughs> Capcom. Street Fighter, because you've been doing this wrong. <laughs> Fucking hell. Tech Toy. Remember Tech Toy? No. Nobody does. <laughs> Nobody does. Capcom can't even remember asking to. Uh, it wasn't a crash. We're going to have to have a fight. It doesn't like a crash. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is just. 97. Steve was saying something, but because he was swearing a lot at me earlier on and refused to do anything, I, I refused to read what he was saying. Oh, it probably was something about Bing. booing again. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Q. Well. Wow, what's that gift? Yeah, there's a... No, E-Honda. No, thank you. There's a few missing. Yeah. So oh, I'll let it ride. I'll let it ride. We'll see. Right, I don't like being Ken. I like being right. Well, we're 14. 14. Oh, oh, wait a minute. We're, we're all trying to do the... There's two buttons, so how the fuck do you have all your kicks and shit? I just realised. Right, I haven't done a move yet. Right, the challenge is, not who wins, who does a move first. I'll try the most complicated one. Right, okay. I should have possibly done. Alright, oh, okay, not bad. I can change it to D pad controls if you want. No, I say. No point. Right, fuck it, let's go. Let's fucking do it. I can't say I'm in a special moves, is it? And I want two buttons. <laughs> I can't have bought it. Oh, the same as the sky. Something. No, no, no it's pauses. Yeah. Oh, can I do a spin? No, he just didn't kick. But he just random. He seems to randomly go from powerful attacks to. Oh no, they're all just power attacks, aren't they? They're yeah. all your most powerful kicks and shit. So that's it. You just got your most powerful stuff. And I wonder if there is any special moves. Oh, there is. I, I uh, played it very briefly. I wonder uh, if the car is like uh, scored or something. <laughs> <laughs> Cause look at them, oh man, look, they've just literally put this ship in mirror mode, look. Oh, Capcom yeah. backwards. Wow. Fuck me. I think he got in the bag. But we all know right is better. Even though Ken has the advantage of being stronger. Right just looks cool. <gasps> I did fireball, but you fucking hit me before it came out of my hand. Serves you right. Wow. Four seconds to go. So we had to die because wow. I didn't want it to. It just removed it. about five frames of animation. Was he I doing speed to get up? No, I didn't speak. I feel like I heard him speak. No, he does. No, no. It's just a bit weird. weird. Well, that's that's not the kick that he normally does. Oh, he just does that kick. Why? Why not the fucking spinning fucking power twat kick? Wow. So you reckon you were going to do a fireball? I, oh yeah, I did, did the you animation. you see the fire? No, I saw, saw his hands, it's just like you punch me in the face. Just... Well, until I see some fire, then I don't fucking believe it, my friend. Right, I'll let you fight against computer. Yeah, that will be... Yeah, Ryu just used to do it all the time, didn't he, on the Senate? Hadouken, 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 Hadouken! See, I was surprised, I didn't know this came out on this console. I didn't. I bet it's on everything, you know, on Spectrum. I thought this were a mod. Because there's well, lots of homebrew yeah, stuff, that's but, true, but it yeah. isn't. It's an actual official, yeah. proper bollocks. Yeah. Actually, that reminds me, you know, um, uh, someone was talking about Game Gear on yeah. the show of Games Crew. Uh, that would be Adam Hayes. Adam Hayes, yes. and uh, just, you know, a few mentions and peripherals and things. Just like memories of getting that mm. and back to life and mm. you know little things and everyone else had this Game Boy which didn't look as good but it lasted forever and you know batteries and shit. Um, can you emulate the the like Game Boy, Game Gear, Toro Links? Yeah, I guess the Game Gear emulator as well. Wicked. I'm gonna so, to that. Oh, yeah, this is this we got will, the Game um, Gear. We'll, we'll do some Game Gear again. Recommend some Game Gear games if you if you're pissed off with me choosing games and you go like, ah man, this console were amazing because they had this game, this game, this game. Well, like I say, a lot of these games uh, are deliberately leaving out so that like, Liam can do a retro review on. Uh, also, we need, we need you to tell us. Tell yeah, us what recommend. Recommend. There's so many fucking games. Uh, the more fucked up, the better, actually. 
If it's some weird, crazy ass shit, brilliant. If it's a game that's good that nobody really knows about, brilliant. Yeah, Koryun was really good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just, just fucking, just do it. And that uh, Segura blade that was top. Uh, but that that episode's not up yet. No. <laughs> Oh, is that um, That's a, next, yeah, uh, next week's... Next uh, week's. Yeah. When do they go up? Sundays. Sundays. William. Caravan style retro reviews. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Check it out. He said to me, yeah, I think we might have to change the name. I said, why? He's like, well, every time uh, I watch the video online, the next video up is always a, a caravan review. I might leave it. It's so no, yeah, you just, just go with it. What's going on here? My arcade emulates them all. The only thing that can't be emulated is the original Xbox from the retro console. That's Always whispering on about your arcade. Yeah. You built this shitty arcade that barely functions. And you're dead proud of it. No, I'm joking. It's very good. It's very nice. In fact, stay, sh share some get uh, show some pictures. Yeah, put some pictures on the group. Games. Because uh, I'm sure a lot of people will be really interested in having a look at your uh, your handy work there, it's because it's fucking sweet. You might be able to make some cash, somebody might buy one off you, if you can be asked making another one. I know it's not easy. Well, Liam was after making some kind of uh, arcade cabinet for all his, all of his uh, consoles, because he's got a CRT monitor, and he wants some kind of cabinet where he can put all his consoles in. So he doesn't like to emulate, you see, he's not a big fan of emulation. Mm. Um, and he was looking at possibly making a arcade style cabinet and putting them all in. So Steve might be able to help him out with ideas there. Not yeah. so much giving him straight hand, but ideas are coming out there. I think some sort of mid-air double jump, actually. Just think it just skips all the animation. I think it does. One frame, one frame per second. <coughs> Watch. That's kicked. Alright. Oh, oh. I don't even think they've got ca cannons in this. There's usually cannons in there. Uh, there. Tigers at the side. Stuff. Yeah. It's usually stuff. Yeah, they couldn't handle it. Just got rid of everything. Uh, right. Don't press it. I hope you'll see a fireball now. Right. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. It's not even worth having this version of the game in any way. No, not it's, in any way. Best not having it. <laughs> the, the Game Boy version's actually better. I remember playing Game Boy version and it was fucking all right. So, it's in fact, that's what I'll do. What, one, one of these videos, we'll just do Game Boy games, right? Original Game Boy games. Yeah. And we'll do Street Fighter 2 and you'll see that you can actually play the fucking game. Should keep that as a r running theme like every console we do. We have a quick, a quick match. Yeah, well that's it, because this just came out on everything, to so yeah. write this shit down, yeah, it just came out on everything, so it's like, you can, you can say, I won that, you know, I like your next round. Right. I'm not very good at this one. It's just, it's sort of like, because I don't care as well. Yeah. Because I can't really do anything, I'm just... I'm In fact, we're only up to an hour mark, so I'm going to skip games, so yeah, fuck you. Yeah, just skip it at that. Right, I'll go it. I'll go it. We know. I'll go it. I'll go it. Right. Oh, oh, these guys, yeah. Okay. They've done some real fucking good stuff. Uh, like this game, which is. <clears throat> Sorry. Beast. <laughs> well, Shadow of the Beast, maybe? No, it's Red Beast! Sabor of the Beast. Of the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so we have this on ST. Yes. It's not what I'm doing. It's because you've got the wrong joypad in your hand. Oh, what a fucking dickhead. Right. This game is shit. Looks like I remember. This game is shit. The remake looks better. This game is shit. Retro Vertigo is what you people are suffering from. Saying this game is fucking good. You Looking back in time, going, the only game I had for about 12 months was Shadow of the... It's because that's all that you had. You look This the, game was shit. You look at the box art. Oh, it's... Sagnos' it's box, box art was fantastic. No Shut doubt up. the box art on the, on the Master System version would have been shite. But here we go. It's not going to finish the game, we've decided. This is it. Look at this. This game was shit. 
Right, so let's just get my move set. I'll come back. Punch quite, it's very slow. Yeah. And Your heart's okay. pounding and you seem to be losing health. I'm gonna do this. It travels quite fast. This game was shit! It doesn't look as good as the ST one though, surely. Like, no, it doesn't. The, the ST went looking back around. The Atari ST version was considerably better, along with the Amiga version and, and so on and so forth. But th this game was poor. We used to always go right at least. Can you push up in there? Can you try it? Select the object out. No, see? Go on. Right. Well, I got You're probably going in a circle because this game was shit. Your memories are <laughs> wrong. This game was shit. Ah, fucking Shadow of the Beast. Remember Shadow of the Yeah, I remember it being shit. When I was a kid, I remember it being shit. When I was an adult, I remember it being shit. I am not excited when people go, Man, I played Shadow of the Fucking Beast. Fuck it, it was shit. I'm going to go all the way back there because it's shit. It was an invisible wall. An invisible shit. An invisible shit. A ghost shit. There you go. Right. Uh, I remember the music being really good, but this is Master System. So. Yeah. The music on the Atari ST and the Mega version was very, very good. But again, this is it, it's like I say, it's retro vertigo. You fucking look back in the past and you get all dizzy and washed up about these games that you used to play. You're like, oh man, it was amazing. It wasn't. It wasn't. And it's it's those kind of memories that make games get re-released nowadays. That weren't fucking brilliant. The trailer for this new one, the, I thought, the was new one up. looks good. They look like they've sorted it out. But I mean, yeah. it's, it's 1991. This game came out. It's 24 fucking year ago. Mm. You know what I mean? They it's, have to just redo because he said they redone the combat. But then I'd expect more because if I'm just doing this all way, even if the combat's good, I'm just going right on. Her. They probably have made a game now. Right, the, the, it's probably a game now. That's that's the thing. That's what that's what ultimately I'm getting getting at. It's like it's taken 24 years for this game to be anywhere near a game. Mm. This game is shit. <laughs> just fucking keep going. You're right. I'm, just, I'm trying to get. A, Remember this game? Look how uh, good it is. Look at it, man. Oh, he's annoying. Look how good it is. John Doe. Sorry. No. I no. know it's shit. I know it's shit. I don't want to play anymore because I've not got this fuzzy fucking twenty-five years of. Ah, it's the I get it. All that's gonna happen is I'm gonna have a background change. Yeah. Don't think the music's gonna change. I think. I think. But the atmosphere, though. Like, I mean, this isn't really doing it. So no. Well, the, but the atmosphere in the old ST Amiga games were just so fucking good, mm. like uh, Zenon and stuff like that, and just they were just this weird fucking atmosphere that you don't get now. Yeah. Like, but it seemed to be. Consistent through all the games, we have different songs and stuff. But they all had this just like sort of dark, mysterious fantasy. Yeah, yeah they were all ominous. Summer, yeah, it's ominous fantasy worlds. And the, I don't know. I, I remember the put, reasons why we used to, we used to put this game on when, when we had it on the Atari ST. Was uh, I don't want to play it anymore. I don't mind it, but crack on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just, the the, uh, the reason why we used to play it is it was a game that you had. Yeah, you bought it because the box art was. It was, was a game that you had. I don't think you bought it. I don't well. think you bought it. I think I think Joe gave it you. Possibly. Right. right. And I think he gave you a bunch of games when when you got the Atari ST. Because if I remember correctly, I think it was actually his Atari ST that you had, wasn't it? Or did you get your own? I don't I have no idea. I can't remember. But I can't remember. It was a game that you had. Whatever he bought, I wanted. Yeah. Right. So even if it was a. CDI. So the point I'm getting at is this was a game that you had. It sat there. There was no trading for these kind of games, so you no. had these games, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't so remember. Putting after it on we much. after we played a lot of stuff and we battered Double Dragon for the 459th time that day, You'd we think... probably would have gone. We'd look in the corner and see some sweet yeah. ass box art on you Shadow think... of the Beast. We'd You'd always think this game must something. be better than what we could look at that box, box and you put it on again, know. hoping that. The game was better than you remembered and from what you find out ago. is the atmosphere, like you said, was good. The music was good. The title screen looked fucking beautiful. And you're like, right, okay, yeah, we're missing something. And then after 10 minutes of playing it, even as a shit year old child, this game is shit. Yeah, it was a shit game, yeah. We, we, it was a trick. It was a trick, and the, the trick of your mind. Tricked you with graphics, atmosphere, box art. Which, which sounds like a fantastic thing to trick you with, like, yeah. should they trick you with this, 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 like, like you're being sarcastic. Not, no, no, the atmosphere might be fucking brilliant, but if you're not game, it's not a fucking game. Yeah, the best thing to do is probably will be watch someone who's good at it. Yeah, you watch someone who's good at it, and then, then 
then you come and play it. It's like if I watch something yeah. good at playing Dark Souls, I go, Dark Souls actually looks pretty cool. And I pick Dark Souls up and I go, Can't do it. it it's not it, for me. I understand that Dark Souls is different on this thing. This game. Does, does Master System have um, Dark Souls? Yeah, it does. Go. It does. We're still like fucking doing it now. Yeah, it might really good now, but they're pushing the yeah, system. Yeah, it, it looks better than the PlayStation 3, bro. Oh. But um, but this game was shit. That's what I, that's one of the reasons why I want to put this on. Can you imagine if? Look how he's breathing. Can you imagine if we did that just went twice the size every time we took a breath? <laughs> I'm mentally. I'll breathe in all the time. Just saw like ten men. Yeah. So uh, so yeah. I, there's one of the reasons why I put this on yeah. is because Chris Broderick showed that video. The new video does look very very good, but it's people's false memories of how good this game is and you'll turn around and probably say in comments like it's not false memories they had a really good time all right then tell me what happens on fourth level tell me what happens on fourth level i've watched the playthrough of this shit so tell me what happens on fourth level and i bet you can't because you never got to the fucking thing because this game shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> rant over he's on a rant he's happy now he's got it off his chest <sighs> well i'm looking then yeah, it's alright. I Don't think I had, um, we were either this one or number one. I think it was this one. I think you should play this because I had to put up with that shit. It was shit. Uh, <laughs> now, I remember, do you say you think it was number two or number one? I think you had number two because number two. because the way it works with your characters is different than... Right. And it was completely different to the Mega Drive one, apart from yeah. the fact it had Tails in. It was just different levels. Um, I didn't mind it. It wasn't as good as the Mega Drive ones, which I used to like, but actually they're not that good. Any of them. I actually just took a hit then. Yeah. I don't remember it starting like this. I'm sure we're in green. Yeah, it might have the first one though. So I might just have to come out of the other one. Unless the next levels are. It was alright, it was playable. It was fun. Silly shit like that. Would, would I want to play it now? Probably not. But some of the shit we've just been playing now, this is actually a step up. <laughs> yeah. I get it though, I don't know, it's, it is, it's alright, but I don't know. It's probably the best thing to do, you know, like if you buy a new game and you're not sure if it's going to be any good or not, mm. get all the shittest games you own, mm. play them all a bit first, Yeah. put this new game on, and then even if it's alright, it would just seem so much better. Yeah, it will do. That's, that's a tip. That's a tip. <laughs> that's a tip. Spend 80 quid on shit games, and then go out and spend 40 quid on a good game. No, and then try and play all your shit games. Assuming you already have yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll be a bit hard work that for me, because that means I would have to play fucking Assassin's Creed Unity, then I'd have to play Far Cry 4, then I'd have to play um, Dragon Age Inquisition, just so I can go, oh what? I'm playing a platformer. I don't like platformers, but this is literally the best game that's out. There's going to be a time there where, do you know how eventually. we're playing these like, you know, just old, old oh, games, yeah. retro games. There's going to be a time which is when we're in fucking old folks home. We're probably not even that, no, not in five years five actually. Five years time, yeah. Where some little young motherfuckers. Yeah, they'll be playing Xbox the original be, games. They'll be playing Halo and they'll be... This game is shit! Yeah, judging it like we're just dismissing these games without even finishing the fucking things. I don't know, with a game, to me, the way it starts is very telling it is, of yeah. how the game is very how it will be. It's very rare that you, you start a game that's fucking dog shit and then it ends up being really good. You can almost very rare. smell that it's gonna be good or bad oh, from up. the first half an hour I reckon yeah well, unless it's one of them yeah. that just intros for ages and fun. yeah I mean half an hour of gameplay you know what well, well, Ubisoft games just intro for too long yeah I'm gonna give you that because I normally don't like the spin for a piss during one of these but Do this it. is a, a especially long episode so I'm gonna go for it is it especially long this is a little bit longer got one more game after this how long is it subject. I'll find a subject in a moment let me just, oh, oh, mm. okay, is that good and bad? See, it's Sonic, so I want to go fast, but I'll die. Oh, no, I didn't die. No, I don't, you don't have the, oh, no. yeah, that way. 
So, what the fuck am I gonna do now? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. It's Sonic 2, weren't it? We can pull down and do the spin. Whatever it's fucking called. Right, I'm going fast as I can. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, see, it's pal. See, I could have died then. His problems would be solved. What a dickhead. Dr. Eggman or Robotnik? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh. What the fuck? Oh. Alright, oh. Mm. <laughs> um. Right, I was. Um, if you ever watched this video back. Yeah. Never. I can fly along. Mm -hmm. oh. I hit a wall. Yep. I go straight down. I think I'm gonna die. Yeah. There's a lot underneath. Yep. It's not cutscene. It's just happening. Yep. And then Doctor Robotnik, uh, Eggman. Yeah. Which it is. Well, it ball, but I, I don't know what, what what it is here. Um. Just for you, the fucking lava. He catches you in his little machine, and then he puts you there. Uh, a boss. So why don't you just fucking let you die? This makes so sense. Took me out again. It's not realistic. <laughs> is it? Right, I'm gonna go in this this time. Not realistic. Right, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. It's my mission. You'll see actually. I felt like I should do that. Whenever you're in a car that's falling, jump, I'll jump. I like the turquoise border you've gone for. Oh yeah. Right, I think this is it. So you do that, mm. oh, you're gonna die. And then he saves you, but then he tries to kill you. I just, I mean, he also what's he's he thinking? He's just a prick. What's he thinking then? man's a prick. Anyway, yeah. I, think, I figured this out. I think I just, oh wow, he's sliding. Like, I just have to avoid these. Yeah. Dush. 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 The boss is uh, interesting. That's hurting him, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Can't Doesn't have the rules of three, though, does it? No. Probably 300. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, oh, it's getting faster. Alright, oh, okay. But how's that affecting me? How's that making my life more Oh, that's oh. how! <laughs> Boom! I know coins, did I? Wanker. Rings. Rings. Um, why didn't they have any rings, actually? I'm not using He's actually quicker doing that as well. I'm quicker. And, oh yeah. He doesn't have the pull down. Oh yeah. So you've got to do the old school Sonic 1 sort of. Oh, oh, hey, hey. That's good old Sonic, I'll slip everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's not as good now, it's not actually as fast. Like Mario, you can actually just sprint and fucking be a lunatic with your skills. I want some coins. Rings? I want some rings? I'm not going to get any ammo. Right, so he gets hit about... Ten times. Just just keep jumping, because he came on. He didn't come on really fast. He was just that you were zoning out. Yeah, I got bored of the whole situation. Oh yeah, I was wondering why him snapping faster was more <laughs> difficult. Yeah, considering that you're not actually sliding, if you stay exactly on that ledge, you're not moving that. anywhere. That's just what I'm gonna do. Just at that then. It's just doing that. That's why I got so relaxed, and then that fucking lunatic came on and then tried to kill me, but he already saved me. Fucking no. Penguins have AIDS. Hello, penguins have AIDS. Or penguins shave AIDS. Penguins shave AIDS. <laughs> Absolutely stupid boss. Sorry. Absolutely stupid he boss. Just seems to save this weren't were made by the same Sonic team, was it? Oh, wait a minute. That one's quite funny. Alright, oh, it's gonna give me the chickens and bunnies and. Oh, there's not as much variety in there. Uh, did you have another topic? Uh, my day. My fucking day. Uh, right, Disney Infinity. Uh, I mean, I don't give a fuck. Ow, I, but I, people I, like collecting I, these things. Um, but I just, I just don't care. So. But, there's a new one now that might interest 
you. Is it a Cthulhu Infinity? No. There's the one thing missing that would make it like the trio of. Which would drive you insane, things. you see, because like they'll advertise all these figures, right? But there'll be one that we won't deliberately won't release in your country, and they'll, you won't be allowed to get it. And if you get it, it'll be illegal, right? So it'll drive you yeah. insane. When I need it for all my collection. Yeah, I need it for all my collection. I got one that they, they put so much. They actually spent quite a lot of money in, but they didn't tell anyone. There's just this random like there's there's one in a million of these figurines, and it could be any time. And it fucks with your head. So it just looks like a normal, because they're quite static, aren't they? They don't yeah. do anything. They're just like, uh, you know. It just changes its pores every now and again. Yeah. But there's no way of being able to tell that it does, because they've done it. It's, I mean, this is expensive. This is going to cost them a lot of money to do. Well, the best way for them to do that is not even advertise that that happens. No, that's they, what I mean. Nobody. No, you can't. Well, top, though, is if nobody it, can know. If it was aware that there was two people in a room, and as soon as one person left, it would just turn and face the oh, one yeah. That's right. what I mean. And then that's, as soon as somebody yeah. comes out and says, that's just fucking moving. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I'm not too sure. Weird. Well, and it's... you go for a piss inside. Like... <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking brilliant. But no. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Because no one will believe you. Because nobody, nobody knows. Nobody knows. But then you Google it and then. Then it hears somebody going downstairs or hears somebody coming close and it goes back to the original stance. Uh, no, it's uh, not as good as that. So you've kind of put a damn wrong. Sorry. Uh, it's. It's all right. That Shadow of the Beast Stop. 2 coming out, is it? No, it's Disney Infinity 3, point oh. up, point zero, uh, but it's Star Wars and uh, Age of Ultron, which, which, is, you, which is cool. Like, it's probably the coolest of stuff. Like, I'm not asked about Disney, but I know what people want. The, the Infinity game's not meant to be too bad. It's just the buying of all the stuff. It's yeah, meant to be considerably better than Skylanders, because Skylanders was. No, I definitely am not interested in Skylanders. If I was going to get into anything, it would be Disney Infinity. Yeah, well, I'll play this for you. Um, yeah. Definitely Disney Infinity, because I recognise these characters. Just from fucking life. Yeah, and, them. and especially when it's something like Star Wars and Age of Ultron, it's like these are characters that you think oh, actually I think he's pretty cool. Yeah. So I might have, like I do with the Amiibos, like I'm not going to buy them all, but I'm just like, oh, I like him. I'll buy that, and then it opens up some shit in the game, and you get like a an actual game, don't yeah. you? Like a game mode to do it. Um. Yeah. So cool. that, yeah. yeah. Should be alright. I mean, it's, it's just a bit too. They want to start giving you more characters mm. as a starting pack, and they don't want to start charging you ridiculous. Be, tell you what, would probably get more people into it is if they absorb the cost by making buy the game for forty quid. Yeah, and you get four characters straight away just for forty quid. Even though at the moment you have to spend like seventy, eighty quid because you have yeah. other characters. Forty quid, but. Get you in. 40 quid, yeah. right? Get you in. But then you're buying the extra characters. Yeah. So that's where you make all the money back. Yeah. Well, that's what they do with most of the consoles anyway, don't they? Yeah. They're generally always in money. What am I doing here? You need to get some momentum Mario style, but. Oh, I've just. Oh. Don't worry. Well, why did Robotnik not save you then? And why can you walk and walk on my screen? Master system. Master. He's the master. Um, so there's that, and mm. then. Um, I mean, I don't know if you know about this, but you know how, like, Boba Fett is pretty fucking cool in it, really. Isn't he's it? having a spin off movie, isn't he? Yeah, he's having a spin off movie. An origin story. I am against this right. because. Because. Because, because, because. Because of the first three films, episode one, two, and three, mm. that is actual canon now. Yeah. Right? Story canon. And he wasn't a clone originally, mm. but now he's a clone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm a bit against it on that aspect. I think they'll stick with that. They'll stick with that. But they'll just show the evolution of his I, I think they'll do, personality. They'll do a hell of a lot better you know. than if they would have left it to Lucasfilm to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do trust them with their IPs. Uh, I, I really do at the moment. Uh, they've proved themselves, for me personally, they've proved themselves with the Marvel cinematic universe. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen the new Star Wars movie, nobody has at the moment, not but it's looking like Star Wars. Mm. But it's looking like Star Wars, how I remembered Star Wars. Yes. Now, not not how Star Wars is, but how I remember yeah. Star Wars, because watching the original Star Wars movies, Why Shadow of the Base? Shit, remembering it, is better, yeah, because New Hope is a terrible fucking film. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bad but, movie. 
Uh, remembering it, but it's, remembering it, it's flawless. Yeah, Red yeah. Tour Vertigo again. Uh, yeah. So are you, Empire Strikes Back is a very good film. Yeah, I like Return of the Jedi. Yeah, I do. Yeah, minus the D Ewoks quite don't really great on me as much. It as gets a bit silly, but yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't get that. I like the Ewoks. They're, they're fine. They're um, fine. Yeah. I get it. It's all a bit serious, and then. Okay, Charles, Charles coming. Things coming. coming, but um, but yeah. So Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi still stand up to me. Mm-hmm. New Hope is an awful movie. Yeah, it's it's a terrible, boring, uh, for me, boring it's, film. Uh, yeah, it, that's just what it is. So with, with Disney, uh, who now own those IPs and stuff, I wasn't. I'm not looking forward to the Boba Fett movie, which only can make it surprise me and be good. Yeah, you know what that's I mean? so, so that's good. So, so that's, that's, it's better sometimes if you're not. You want it to be good. You don't have much hope for it because you just you can just tell. Uh, but then it, it actually is fucking good. That would be that would be nice. Yeah, that would be, nice. be nice. Uh, well, we're on Sega. Uh, they don't have a booth at E3, so they're just <laughs> going into fucking. Some, some people were really upset about that. I mean, what what were they going to show? I mean, they have the aliens IP. At best, but, they publish stuff. Yeah, but but that's like just that doesn't mean anything. I'm trying to think of the, money the best. The, what, name name a good game. We'll take Alien Isolation out of that for a moment, and we'll put that on the shelf up here. A very good game, Sega published, right? Name a, a real good Sega game recently. Published or made? Either. Right. Probably the best game recently is Sonic Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive to the Wii U, and it's fucking horrible. Yeah, it's, it's fucking yeah. shit. It's, it's fucking horrible. Cool. And well, they, they, they don't give us that. They that. They made that fucking. Game. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they so, made it. So as far as like published, it's it's basically Alien Isolation. Too. Alien Isolation. Bayonetta One. Was that Sega? I think Sega. Well, okay. I think they published it, but Platinum made it. Right. Okay. I think so. Right. Uh, yeah, they did because they had some yeah. like space area shit in there. Okay, yeah. You know, okay, the, the right. weird yeah, so And this time, Nintendo's published it. Right, this is the difference. Uh, so they've got some Nintendo stuff in there. Right. You know. um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, tell us, tell us the games. They fucking Creative did. Assembly, who who make the um, Total War games, they yeah. made. Yeah. Alien Isolation. They pu- did they Sega publish them as well? Yeah, Sega, Sega, Sega yeah. all them. They're like yeah. in right, 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 they're, yeah, yeah. right. So. When when I see Creative Assembly's name on something, I go ooh, and I like the Total War games, um, and Daily Isolation was fantastic. Mm-hmm. So Sega not having a booth at E3 tells me no fuck. Don't give a fuck. They probably have a booth at Apple with all the. They probably have. They probably have a booth at fucking Accrington as the, and it'll have the same amount of press as anything else. I'm sorry if you're a massive Sega fan, then I love old school Sega. They're, they're dead. I love old school Sega, but it's like a painful death that's just just prolonged. They're dead. They're not as bad as Konami. Konami are fucking dicks, and they've killed themselves. Because as as we've been doing these these podcasts and stuff, uh, a lot of the games that we do touch on that are pretty damn fucking sweet. They made themselves were, pointless. Were Konami games? The the, mm. the Turtles games are fucking yeah. fantastic. The uh, Batman game is a really good Batman they game. They're everywhere. The the um, uh, mystical ninja although we fucked up the co-op game because we weren't as good as I remember as yeah, but the game that. itself is no we didn't we cut that we cut that <laughs> the game itself is very very good you just need to practice that it's a fucking brilliant game but Konami have just sort of killed himself especially with the destruction of uh, PT yeah which like, I it's still just... have on my console and people are trying to sell them for a thousand dollars really if you've got PT on your console. You can't even, do you know if you delete it? Yeah, you can't you re-download. re-download it now. You should be able to. Oh, mind you, it was free when yeah, you, you, you do just Yeah, you don't right. own it. But yeah. Even then, even if you paid for it, like you've had problems with Xbox Live games, Xbox where you, Live, you, yeah. you've had all these games, and well, they got rid of, just uh, disappeared. Yeah, they got rid of um, Double Dragon. They stopped me from playing mm. Double Dragon. I paid for Double Dragon, they got rid of that. Uh, I rang you up and he said, just re-download it. I did do, and it just counts as a demo version, which was fucking insulting. He got rid of um, Streets of Rage from my console when they released Streets of Rage pack. All right. They released Streets of Rage 2. I bought it, I played it with Nicky a bit. Um, yeah. And they were on my console, and then um, and then they released the Sega co-op pack or whatever it were for uh, for Xbox Live. I went to try and play Streets of Rage 2. Nicky, watch some of these. 
Oh, Nick, you watching some of these? Oh, Nick, you watching some of these? You, um, so I tried playing Streets of Rage again. After that game came out, wouldn't let me play it. I rang them up. Why can't I play this game? I paid for it. Try to re-download it. Re-download it. Counts as a demo. I bet the phone Bullshit. call costs you more than if you just re-down, repaid for it. Yeah, probably would have. But, but it's, the point it's, is, it's not the point. I own it. Yeah, I, I own that. Mm. It's, it's just stupid. It's, it's like me playing with this Xbox One joypad right now. And then putting it down for six months, and then a new Xbox One Joypod comes out with an extra button, which doesn't affect how anything plays, it's just that like it's the shortcut button. Mm. And then I'm saying, like, oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pay us a five if you to unlock your joypad. Like, fuck off! Fuck off. I own it. It works. Wankers. Slip my chuddies. Next Wankers, uh, are you chubbing a quick last game on? Yeah, we've got very last game. Very last game, and I'll just blitz through. Yeah, we'll get through this and then we'll I've got Two boy. Sorted. It's no worries. Two more. Um oh wait a minute, so guess the game. Oh Rocky! Rocky! Fucking hell. This remember, was good. I remember he's straight right on his oh, arm. Oh he just cracked his he snapped his own arm with his own power. <laughs> Fucking hell, you <laughs> hard bastard. <laughs> Rocky! Rocky! Why do I remember? Nineteen eighty seven, because we have it. What the fuck do, do we have it? We beasted this game. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. I remember this being good. It was good. I remember. It. So there is some good games on here. <laughs> but well, it might not be good now. It's it's it's, it's, it's hard work to get the timing down. Is it different training modes? Like this will be one, and there'll be four. some. Yeah. And uh, a bit of skipping maybe or. Yeah. Whatever. Fucking hell. So, is this going to make you better? No, yeah. you know, I can't remember. You have to get fucking 60. I have to get 60. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Yeah. So you're not actually going to be able to play the game? Probably not. Maybe it'll just make you a bit shit. Look at how big he is. Look at his lats, man. He's massive. You're <laughs> doing it. You're not fucking doing it. Adrian! <laughs> Spat everywhere. Go on, so, uh, go on, subjective. Right, so, um, Tony Hope, you ever play any of that? Yeah, I loved the first, loved the second. The third were, mm, and I didn't like the underground. Yeah, I didn't really play it myself, but um, I liked the, the music in, in uh, Ninja 2. Because <laughs> um, Public Enemy and just a lot of cool tracks in there. Um, well, are you happy to hear that there is Tony Hawk 5? Nope. I don't think they're relevant anymore. It's coming out this year. I still don't think they're relevant anymore. Um, and the best thing about it was the reveal. Was it, I'm in the game? No, the reveal was one of those fucking accidental fuck-ups. Bro, I love it when they're accidental. They're the best. It was some guy that was at the... At, I don't know if it was... A, it must have been a press event, mm. or somewhat private, or whatever. They were in there, like, um, what, what's it called, where they, where they're skating, they go up the ramps yeah, yeah, and stuff. The, yeah, the skate park thing. Uh, yeah, but it was indoors, and yeah. it, was, it was just like the... the, just the the chef, the, the caterer that made the food, and there were tables mm. in the middle of this, and they're having just a bit of a bit of a do. Right. Probably showing off the game to private people. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, so we did like a selfie or something. Someone right. took a picture of him. He just wanted to show like, this is what I've done. This yeah, is where I'm at. Proud of his work. He doesn't give a fuck about Tony Hawk. He doesn't know what the fuck it is. He, he just doesn't give a shit. It, but in the background, mm. there's Tony Hawk Five fucking <laughs> on the screen, <laughs> and nobody knew about this game. He's put it on like Twitter or some shit. And everyone's gone fucking mental. And he must be looking at it thinking, why is everybody like retweeting my shit? <laughs> yeah, oh, wow, I'm famous. And it's like, oh, they must be like me. It's yeah, like, I no, dickhead. No, Behind you, you, you there's this you game get, that doesn't inspired. exist. <laughs> Fuck me. So, yeah, anyway, that that is like official now, but it's pretty fucking obvious anyway. Uh, but I've never really got into skating games. I mean, that fucking Ollie Ollie was, was like the, yeah, the boss terrible. of the pile for me, but I think oh, that's for dropped the all CD type people. Down you go, Paolo! Come on, Stallion. Come on, Stallion. Nice. So this is the first one and you're, you're facing Apollo? Yeah, it's all the movies. Right. So it goes Apollo, then you fight Apollo. So you just yeah. get all the big characters? Yeah, yeah, and then you right. fight Drago. Who was Has he got Mr. T in there? Yeah, Mr. T's your third. Oh, fucking smashed him! Boom! <laughs> Sex machine! What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Big chunks of yellow flesh. <laughs> I was now, see. Hey, so yeah. go, check it out. <laughs> Just, uh, 
Uh, yeah, so the, that yeah the uh, Tony Hawk's games weren't too bad. The, the like I say first and second. I know they were supposed to be good. But it's um, just, I know it's not my tackle. Oh shit! I'm down. I don't know how to get up. Well, there's only two buttons and a start oh. and a wiggle maybe. Come on, can't be beat. I won't be beat. Oh, it's just he's all oh, rope a motherfucker. Rope a dope. How the fuck did we own this game? Did we buy it, rent it, or? Uh, I think. I, the thing we just owned it. I think right, I it. I, I, now that you brought it up to me, I fucking remember playing it. Yeah. But I just, I've it. no fucking clue of how we acquired it. No, you crack on. I had to play that fucking Shadow of the fucking Shard. Shadow of the Beast is shit. Yeah. Shit. You see, you see what I was trying to get at before. It was like, you know... Like, no, I did, I did remember. I did remember the punch being too slow and it just being too hard and actually pointless. You didn't want to get any further. We did because you wanted to see another screen and thought about it. It's the cat attacking something. So is that all the subjects, huh? Uh, well, I've got a semi-subject. More like a, an observation. Okay. Do you know how we've been playing on the uh, hip shots co-op. Yes. Which Aaron will be doing some new hip shots. We'll continue in the co-op hip shots till we get Mario done. Yeah. And we might do some future ones. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, gonna have some other games running in the middle of it. He's gonna be playing like Soul as well. Yeah. Um, Cause I wanna play Hotline Miami 2. I've not really played it much since I bought it and it's been- That'll give you a reason to yeah. ask it, yeah, yeah. So what we've been playing is Mario World, if you haven't seen the videos. Oh, um, And we're like, basically hip shot, you just, we just finish a game. Um, we don't matter how fucking long it takes us. Or mainly Aaron, this is just the first court one. Mm. Uh, so, what I did, there's this new thing, what's it called? Um, it's for the Wii U, and it's uh, something like Amiibo Tap or something. Right, okay. And it's a bit weird. So, what you do, you download the app, it's free. I'm a fucking pummel here. Go on, sorry. You put the app on. He says, chuck an amiibo on. Right. You put your amiibo on. This amiibo will select a random game of like Snares and Nares, yeah. at least them. Yeah. And it'll say, right, this amiibo, you can play this game. And it'll start you randomly. That's his nail trick with your fucking cheats. Up on forward, bitch. It'll we'll start you random way. So you say it was Metroid. Yeah. It will just go, right, you've got you've got two minutes. Here's this level. Be a random level in the game. I mean, they will contrive what it is, but it, to you, it's random. And it's like, go. Just right. at any point in the game. It's better Maybe. than a demo. Because a demo is always the start of a game or yeah. a selected level. And you get nine. One, two. You oh. get nine different. Various. So this is a specific ami amiibo that you need to buy? No. So I'll take my Link amiibo, right. which I did, and coincidentally I put it on and it gave me fucking Mario World, which we've been doing. But, but there is a massive selection. So it gave me Mario World and I thought, alright, we've been doing this. And what it does, it seems like it's the full game. Right. So it put me on the map and it went near here and it went near the store, you know, right. near the yeah. Chlamydia. Oh, the Chlamydia. Yeah. If you watch the show, the you'll hit shots, you'll, you'll know what we're on about. It's pushing near the chlamydia, so I did the level, but you've got like two minutes, you can do another level. I mean, if you could finish the whole game in two minutes, you could fucking do that. Right, okay. So it's not just like, oh, you end here. So I'm like, okay, so I did that. I'm like, right, was that it? It's just, just like, oh, shit, demo then, what's the point in that? But he said there's like, that's one of nine. So I'm like, all right, so do it again then. And then just, just chuck me somewhere else randomly on the map. So if you never play this game, you'll get an experience of everywhere yeah, so in this game. So I, I went somewhere else and and what it does, it has, it doesn't have the full map unlock, but it'll have just you might be somewhere random like over here on map. Which just pops you there and have a few routes. You choose the level you're on, you choose that one. You know, when you finish that level, it will unlock the next bit. Sweet. So it's like you've got the full game but you haven't. Well imagine like Bioshock, you play the demo. That put us off the game, didn't it? I mean you weren't asked about the game anyway for various reasons. Yeah, very but I mean, I, I was put off the game because of the demo, so I picked it up cheap later on. The Infinite, Infinite we're talking about. No, no, the, the original Bioshock. All right, okay. Yeah, the original Bioshock. So imagine if that game, you put it on, this was their version of a demo. 
gives you the first level set because they're a bit more complicated in modern games. Yeah. So it shows you the option. Like, oh, that's kind of cool. You can play it nine times, but every time you put it on, somewhere else, they'll put you somewhere else in the game. But you've only got two minutes. Right. You get into experience chunks all you over see, the game. I like that because. But like, no, I imagine if you have conversations, you won't give any spoilers. One, one like. of the uh, one of the things that keep getting mentioned, say E three, when they do tech demos and, and shit like that, and one of the things that Gearbox tried to get away with with their um, Aliens Corner Marine, infamous Aliens Corner mm -hmm. Marine uh, trailer was they said it was a vertical slice of the game. Yeah. Now what you're saying is actually a proper vertical slice game. of the game because it is the game. You can tell it's the full game there, yeah. but you can't play well you can't. You got two minutes to finish the fucking game. And we'll start you at any point of nine. Mm. And every time you click back on it, it's one of nine places you're gonna end up at. That's good. And oh. the challenge is just to get spoilers can in them two minutes, yeah. put it somewhere else, get spoilers can in that area in two minutes. You might do a level. Yeah. Move on to the next level. Uh, so you might put your Metroid. It might put you in fucking Kid Icarus. It might put so, you in fucking so it, Zelda. So it randomly grabs the game from... So now, my Link Amiibo is basically committed to Mario World. If I, I do have another Mario uh, Amiibo, but I've left it sealed. Mm. So it's a Mario one, which is probably the most popular one anyway, but I've just left it there. Mm. Um, so if I put that one on, I'll get another game. It might be Zelda. It might right, be okay. Zelda, Link to the Past. I don't know, it could be, or it might be Metro. It could be anything. Any Nintendo game. I'll put it on, and I'll go, right. I assume it'll say, this is one of nine of this right. game. No, that's brilliant. And it'll just randomly, I think the first one is always near the start. Right, yeah. So the yeah. next one will be a bit further on. And it, but it'll, you will, in a way, get to experience the game. a lot of the game, as opposed to a demo. It's like, this is the start. And the start might be fucking brilliant to most yeah. games. They try and make the start as good as can be, or it's just well, a training a lot, a lot of games, you, your first level's really good, and that's then it's just a slow decline that's to the very That's what people are going to play at E3, isn't it? Yeah. They, they give up on, like, let's save this fucking good shit. Well, that's really, like, really good. Why, why don't they... Imagine that, that why, why, don't, why don't they just... Why don't they publicise it a bit more? Because... The Nintendo... Yeah, yeah. yeah. And people shit. are doing the, doing the thing of, like, oh, just missing it. It's like, oh, it's just demos and stuff. It's like, what? Well, it's free, man. And you get to play this game. Yeah. Especially if you're younger, you might never played Mario World before. And you just get to experience all the bits of all over. Well, I'm... I'm That's fucking cool. People think I'm negative as fuck, which, you know, I, I am to a large uh, extent. But, like, I'm positive with these kind of things. People saying that, oh, it's just a demo. Well, yeah, it is, but it's better than the demo in a lot of respects, because yeah. you get into witness. You don't know what you're going to get, so it's kind of exciting. And it's that mystery box type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's cool, I, I like it, and I think it should be pushed out. It just adds a little bit of a value just... to your Amiibo, which are a bit like, but not much value. Most, most, most you get with journalists who, who like to just... Well, they got too much money to get everything free. Bash. Well, that, that's that's another thing. I think that that is, because they get games for free, a lot of them get games for free. Not all of them, some of them have to buy But they don't care about little they don't, things. They like, don't care about little things. They don't things see like how like, somebody likes it. Like, oh, I've got to meet, but I'll just try it. Oh, oh actually, that's quite fun. And, I'm, and we are twatting that game. Well, we're not very good at it, but we are going through that game. And I was still enjoying it. Oh, it shut me here. Like, I've got two minutes. Go, go. Yes. Let's see like, what I can fucking do. And the other thing was, um, holy shit, it looks <sighs> so much fucking better on. Um, the Wii U, because we've been playing like an emulated version. We've been playing the SNES version. The SNES, well even the SNES version, uh, which is like, you know, it's blurry or whatever. Mm. But you put it on that and it does, it's dry, it's fucking clean, it's nice. The, the fucking emulation software they've got in there makes every game just look better. Yeah. Works for your big screen, that is just built in. Yeah, it's it's some like underrated it? shit. It's not just a straight like, it's Mario World just as you remember it. No. Fuck me, it popped. It yeah. looked fucking yeah, I mean, beautiful. It's a nice, because it's a nice been, looking game as we well. We played it's just, quite about three, four hours of that, haven't we? Yeah, so far. Yeah. So it is, and as soon as I saw it, I'm like, wow, why does this look so much better? Oh, yeah. It's just give me an appreciation for it, because you don't appreciate it, because you remember it looking that good anyway. Yeah, and it well, fucking it. didn't. <laughs> but it's still, it's still a good looking game. Yeah, well, no, it's still a good looking game. playing these games here, uh, uh, I mean, Mario, Super Mario World came out in 1993. Two, I think. Was it two? Yeah, the most one, of, one, I think. Well, well most of these games we've been playing have been 1992, this one's 1987. Um, I'm surprised it's 87. I'm surprised it's 87. Yeah. I didn't realise that Rocky Four came out in 87. That was like, wow. But um, but yeah, so like, a lot of these games we've been playing and, and they look nowhere near as good. Mm. So, 
It's good. I know it's a lesser console. It's the little things that I like um, that just just go fucking under the radar. Just don't get noticed. Because when, when you hitched him up and Turtles in Time it for Xbox 360, oh, um, you're kidding. You're like, oh great, I'm gonna have the same experience, but it's gonna look better. And it, it's not true. No, it's not it's true. like just give me the original game, clean it up, get rid of any bugs, give us a fucking bonus level. Just for shits and might be shit. Okay, here's something for you, talking about that. Um, Resident Evil 2 HD Remake. Go! Uh, pointless, unless they're going to do a GameCube style remake of the original Resident Evil, where they just revamped it all, oh. they put so much work into it, it's Capcom. and it's one of my favourite games of all time. Capcom, Capcom. Capcom, early console times. Fucking brilliant. Arcade times, great. For me, yeah. they have the best side scrolling beat em ups in the arcade. Mm -hmm. Konami have the best side scrolling beat em ups on consoles. Mm -hmm. um, even though they do have Turtles, you know, Turtles is an arcade game, but they didn't better on that. Um, and then Capcom, in the past few years, has just gone out of favour. It just, they just can't be asked. I don't know what's happening to a lot of Japanese developers. They've just gone shit. A lot of these companies are just, just taking the piss. And it's, I think what it was, they took the piss a while back. They were just resting on the laurels. They were just like, right, we've got it sussed. So Konami was like, right. They used to make all these like turtles and stuff and all those games. And now they're like, well, we've got like Metal Gear. That'll do. Uh, now we're going to go and do mobile shit, actually. Fuck it. They, they're just giving up. They're, they're more interested in other markets. It's, it's a business. And that's when you realise you see the passion going out. Yeah. You see them losing it. It's been flushed, hasn't it? It's and the other flushed. one is Capcom uh, was like, they started taking the piss with the... On this DLC. DLC. Now that was a while back. But I think as soon as you see that rot early on, yeah, that just pisses everybody off, it could be any, it could be that or anything, you notice like about four years well, later, they just, they just give up. It was something that... Um, Jim Sterling mentioned, which was going to be what I was going to have a waffle about this weekend um, on my Monday morning, so I didn't end up doing the episode, as you probably noticed, because I haven't fired it up anyway. But um, it was going to be on about uh, Warner Brothers and the DLC, and how they are brand new in the, re in the, in the world yeah. of uh, of game publishing. They're, they're really, they're, they're in their infancy, really. But they've had some good games that have come out. You know, they they own the Batman franchise, yeah. and they own the, um, the Mortal Kombat as well. But yeah, they own Mortal Kombat, which is where we're going to get out. It's like uh, they have Shadow Over Mordor, which is fucking brilliant. But I was going to mention the fact that their company that has seen money in DLC really early on, so the they promote they, all a their games. Quick side thing: uh, there's a game of the year edition of. Shadow of Mordor coming out with all the DLC and shit in. Uh, like they do. If it's Lots 20 quid, pick it up. If it's not, just get the original version that's 20 quid and you'll have ample fun. And you'll have had enough at that point. And you'll have had enough at that point, yeah. yeah. Uh, but with Warner Brothers, the, they're in their infancy as being a game publisher, yet they've come jumping in feet first with promoting a game via DLC. Yeah, if it wasn't for Batman being as big a hit as it was originally, it wouldn't be the company. Well, we'll talk again in four away. years, and I bet they're just fucking deteriorating. It's well, deteriorating. well, what they've done to uh, Neverrealm Industries? We were talking about Mortal Kombat. Of historically, since they started putting the crypts in stuff, they give you value for money. If you enjoy Mortal Kombat in the slightest. They give you value for money. You buy that game and there are hours and hours and yeah, hours worth of, of con today, content there. Now, Warner Brothers now own them. And we have Mortal Kombat X. See, and, we're not stupid nowadays. We're how did they promote that game? They promoted that yeah. game by going, here's your character, here's your character, here's your Goro, here's your character. It didn't tell you Goro was fucking DLC. Yeah, so you got them. And then they started promoting uh, Jason, uh, Jason DLC, Predator DLC. Now you can buy all this other shit. What's the Left 4 Dead game? The uh, Evolve. No, Evolve. That's oh. not Warner Brothers. That's no, 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 no. But that was but pure, another example yeah. of like promoting right, all DLC. The, yeah. Now look at the new Batman game. The first first trailer for the Batman game came out, showed him fighting against, I think, against Deathstroke, and at the end of it, 
as soon as it came out, like pre-order now, you get Harlequin as a playable character. That was the very first trailer. The first trailer had fucking DLC on it. You don't realise it's not Yeah. Because well, it, it, I don't I give saw a fuck. something today and it was like... It put me off Batman because I'm thinking, what am I going to be missing? Because I'm not going to yeah. be buying it. You forget everything. what's in it and what's not in it. Yeah. And now, what I realise is, we, we a lot of these companies is, if I see it advertised, it's not in it. The story's getting to that point. It's, it's yeah. almost like... It's at least 50-50. What they advertise is yeah, he's exactly. 50 whether it's going to be in the game or not. Yeah. Which you get excited for it, but now I don't. And I'll just go, probably not in the game, that. That's why I'll I'll Witcher I'll 3, go. I'm looking at it and I know what they're showing mm. is going to be in that game. I did have a look at the DLC stuff. It's not coming out for another six months. Uh, the first piece is going to be 20 hours worth of gameplay. The second piece is going to be another 20 hours worth of gameplay. Mm. So it's going to be years time by time you get the second piece of DLC. So that's a game and another game. That's, that's, that's fucking that's game. That's a game right? and another game. And the game's already meant to be over 100 hours long anyway. Right, so it's like, yes, okay, that is fucking sweet. It's not the, sorry to go back to Batman, but yeah. is the DLC not like, a, uh, the season pass not like a stupid amount of money? It's 40 quid. And the do we know what we're getting? Quid. You, you know you're getting, you don't get Harley Quinn unless you pre-order, right? Regardless. So, regardless. Season that, pass that, or not. Well, you probably get it a bit later on with the season pass, but you get that as a pre-order exclusive. Right. At the moment. Which I hate. And then when you download, when you get the season pass, you get... Um, Give me a trinket as a pre-order exclusive. Robin, uh, Nightwing, and I think Catwoman. Well, they just have a advertise. Oh, new skins for your Batmobile. Right. I don't really, I'm not bothered it's about Batmobile, skin. why the f- what, what skin are you going to put on? Yeah, they don't offend me. It's got to be black. If my Batmobile's white, looking like Ezio from fucking Assassin's Creed... Maybe it's the new, new black. It's going to be new black. I wouldn't be surprised if they fucking announced that Predator's in Batman and everybody will lose the shit. Ah, oh, fucking Batman! No, that's the thing. I don't, so think, I'm not interested. I don't think they will lose the, lose the shit anymore. No, what it do they do? It just becomes what... No, I don't. I think it's bullshit that people are losing their shit. I think it's like a... That is even just part of the fucking hype. It's just bollocks. Well... I think most people just go, yeah, I've already seen this. My Monday morning was going to be a two-thronged attack. It was going to be about DLC and how, like, certain companies like uh, EA and, and Warner Brothers, who are our Western equivalent... It should be DLB. Right, or... Or doing all this kind of B-B shit. Bullshit. And then the next point I was going to get on, which is where it comes to um, why people buy it and people do lose the shit, is attention deficit disorder gaming, which is the Call of Duty aspect. Right? And my video was going to be, every time I said fantastic, because I've realised I say it quite a bit, there was going to be loads of little shit popping up on the screen. Just like when you play a, a deathmatch in Call of Duty, you're getting numbers thrown at you to pass yeah, on the like you're progressing. And say, you're doing fuck all, you're not doing all. anything. And then that no tension beds. deficit disorder gaming is actually go PC. 19 quid. Well That's alright, yeah. Pretty good. Mm. But um mm. But this is where that like Agreed. that attention deficit disorder gaming comes in where it's like, well I want stuff now and it's like da, 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 and you get it, they'll buy it and they sit there and they won't finish the game. Mm. They won't finish the game, which is I reckon why they try and sell all the no, the problem season is they're passes. They're probably the ones that bought all the shit as well. Well, yeah. this is where your season passes yeah. and stuff come in. That's why they sell them so early on, and this is why they try and get you to buy them in, in the shop. Oh, That's why they sell all this fucking DLC to you before the games even come out. Because as much as I like achievement points, achievement points are there for marketing, so they can tell well, who's they know finished the done. game. Yeah, they yeah. know how far yeah, through game. Yeah. And they were saying, I think recent uh, recent release um, from some kind of. Uh, game metric place that we're looking at um, achievement points and all this kind of stuff says that 68% of gamers mm. well, I, think it, I think it was 78% of gamers don't finish the games that they buy yeah I've stopped finishing right. games I've um, got to a point now where I used to finish everything stubbornly even if it was mm. shit um, but because I've played so many I've got so fucking fussy that I just go Play it for a bit, seen it all before, not asked, pissed off that I bought it, mm-hmm. which has made me stop buying games. Right, yeah. <laughs> so I'll fucking, I will, it's a shame really because we've got completely different consoles. He's got um, Xbox One, Xbox One, and PS4, which is good in one way because mm-hmm. it means we can both experience what's going on wherever. Yeah. And he's bad in another way because I could get a game and say, this is awesome. Check it out, borrow it. 
As long as you want, do it. Mm. Or if you could, um, conversely, just fucking let me again, but yeah, it just doesn't fucking work. It doesn't work. Doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, it's um, so that so, yeah, with, with, with the seventy eight percent of people not actually finishing games. This is why they try and get you to buy DLC immediately. Mm. Buy it now. Buy it now. So it takes you 50 quid on your 45 pound game. Mm. You then spend 80 quid because you're like, I'll send out adverts for this. This looks fucking ace. You get it on, you play it for a fortnight, and you get rid of it. You don't but, even finish the original bought, game. You don't even finish the game. Just the basic game you haven't finished. And so you, so you, you buy all that DLC, which you can't go and trade in. And so you, immediately, you're probably saving some as well. Like if you buy it now, you buy, you buy it all once. You're saving money as opposed to buying it. Only if you're going to finish the game. Yeah. If you was to finish the so game, so you think, oh, I'm getting a bargain. Yeah, but you're not. But you're not unless you fucking finish it. Unless you finish that game, you are not getting a you bargain. You can get a cheap ass steak, but unless you eat it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <it's> pointless. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. You know, it's, it's 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 that's what's happening, and and it's it's that kind of attention deficit disorder gaming type of thing. Um, yeah, but the, the trouble with that is that ruins, you can ruins only take it. advantage of that for it. so long, and then people just just become numb to it. And they're like, yeah, no, because I don't, I never finish them. Well, so what's the fucking point? It'll be happening soon. I think I think we're due a due a bit of a, a, a crash. It's a rot. It's a it is, rot. It's a slow, and it, and it, rot. It, it'll, it'll reset. Hard reboot. But, fucking ET style. But because um, because brand awareness has always been a, uh, is a case of, uh, of of gaming. This is where stuff people start losing the shit over Shadow of the Beast coming out. Because that's what they do. They start going, yeah. well, we'll release this. Remember that game? Well, yeah, yeah. Right, now that game does look good. The, the remake does look good. I know it's like... Well, I, don't, I sort of almost don't mind doing that. Because I, like, I remember it being good, but it not being good. I remember it being shit, but I wanted it to be good. Yeah. Um, so, it's slightly different because it's like, well, maybe they've made it good now. Yeah. So that's all right. They, maybe they've... Put in that element that I used to want, but I, only, I wanted that at the time. Games have moved on. Games, everything, yeah. It's, it's moved on, like, Atmosphere ain't gonna sell it anymore. Uh, it needs to be the full fucking package. Paying all the money for this shit. Yeah, well, this this is where I start enjoying smaller games. I'm yeah, looking forward to at the, the right games. price. Yeah, at the smaller right price. games at the right price. I, I generally don't like them, I'll be honest. Uh, they, they get on my fucking nerves. Well, I, but there is the odd one, like, like Gunman. Clive and stuff, they just take me off guard. Sure, no. Yeah, yeah, I haven't, I haven't played it, but I know that I would like it. It's just, 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 just taking me. It's just fucking, just like, whoa, this is different. It's a different art style. It's or it's gone really retro, or what, or it's just like it's like no more heroes. Yeah, fucking shit game. But it has some really fucking cool stuff in it. Well, that's it. The um, game doesn't have to be mechanically amazing. It's like, yeah, yeah. Because I, I really like, um, I really like. Fucking Ken and Lynch, hence the tattoo. Yeah, uh, no, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that come down to writing more than the actual game itself. And you, you want to finish it? I know. You want to see it what because it was interesting shit's going on. And yeah. that's the Killer Seven weird Killer game, 7, yeah. different concept, which kept it interesting, but it wasn't actually that good. But the few and far between those kind of games. It was so now. weird and cool and random, and the story was fucking brilliant. It didn't make much sense, but it was so fucking dark. And Weird and cool that I had to finish that game. Yeah. Even if I got to a shitty level that I didn't like care for, I will still finish it. Now, if we get to a shitty level on Assassin's Creed, I'll switch the fucker off and never play it again. Uh, I will give something about Assassin's Creed that. Unity. Uh, I did a follow mission the other day. Well, yeah, I'm surprised you didn't know every day. Oh, well, was it a good follow mission? Is that what you're going to say? I don't believe it. They went, they went out of our view. Prove it. Right, and they started saying, you get in the way, they get in the way. And I'm like, oh shit. Um, all right, tell me to hurry up a bit. So mm -hmm. I tried hurrying up a bit, and I thought, oh, I've been a while here, shit, they're gonna fucking end the game here, aren't they? Nope, it was fine, they were absolutely fine with me, hunky dory with me. Mm. They were absolutely sound with me, so, um, yeah, follow missions aren't oh, annoying so you anymore. Managed to, so all you, every time, like on Assassin's Creed um, 4, yeah, you, could, flag. you could rate the missions when you'd done them. And every time Aaron or myself, I had a follow mission. We just rated um, one star. We just he just got one star, and I imagine every fucker else did exactly the same. Um, maybe that had an effect. And what we need it? to rework these follow well, missions. I, 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 was, I don't mind the idea of it. I was talking to uh, um, what's his name, uh, Ryan, 
and uh, he was saying, oh, I just ignore it. When he asked me to rate it, I just ignore it. I said, no, don't ignore it. Press it, because it, it gets back to them. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. a bit like when people say, no, I don't want to vote. Well, no, that's that's voting. That's yeah, game yeah. voting. Vote, and then they'll make a better game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. I wish every game did that, to be honest. I do like the fact that they did that. Yeah. I'd love every company to uh, you'd probably get a bit annoying after What would be, what be nice is, is, is to, when you're leaving, when, when you're turning the game off, if you actually press start and quit, it should just... Ask you to rate the amount, the amount that that game rate your session. experience. Just rate that gaming se- yeah. session. They know what you played, and if they want to look into it, they can. They yeah, because they'll, they'll, they'll know. Because they'll be like, right, okay, that gaming session. I gave about five out of ten. And be like, all right, you did these missions. All right, they didn't really like it. Right, okay. All right, that's it. Nail trick. Right, shall we, uh, you knock this fucker out? I'll try and knock him out, we'll call it there, because this is a long episode, so thank you very much for staying, um, if you are staying. This is more because it's on stream, so we can go a little bit longer. Have you heard about the Steam game pull from Greenlight? Is that the Kill Faggots? Yeah. (laughs) So I saw a weird one that that Jim Sterling would play. That was it, where you're shooting gay guys? No. No. Uh, but it was worse than that. It was implied worse than that. Wow. You could argue that it was nothing, but it obviously wasn't. It was sort of like called Shower With My Daddy. Yes, yeah, that was uh, a while ago. <laughs> yeah. That. Does that still exist? Because if they're pulling that, fair enough. But I feel like that takes priority because you could see their dicks. Yeah. And you were. Could you? Yeah. Oh, I did. All right. They were like eight bit, less than eight bit. They were like Spectrum style, and then you were. I think, if I remember correctly, Jim Sterling played it, and yeah. I think you were a kid. Oh, yeah, so. and you're you dick high, aren't you? Some... Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So <laughs> I fucked up. Hey, look, you prick. Oh, he's actually kicking your ass. Well, not really. I'm doing considerably better than I were last. Oh, okay. did he knock you out last time? Yeah, that's why the game ended. It's going down. Oh. I pity the two. Oh, this, is a, this is a close fight. 8-bit dicks. That's what we should have called this. 8-bit dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think it was 8-bit. I think it was... What was Spectrum? Plus 2. I imagine it was 2-bit. 2-bit <laughs> two two bit dicks. 2-bit two bit. Two dicks. Goddamn 2-bit dicks. Where are these pipes, you fucking two big? Oh fuck! I need to conceive them as a show, or well, you do. Just... <laughs> Just to use that name. Oh, wait! Wow, how was he getting so much fucking health back though? Club Lang. Can't beat. I won't be beat. Idiot! I'm about to come to a real man. Oh, if I knock him down one more time, I've won. And then I'm fighting Ivan Drago, then I'm up shit creek wow, without yeah. a paddle. Yeah, he... If he dies, he dies, isn't it? <laughs> That's how he speaks. He he does. Oh, so I'm going down. I'm going down. Going down. So what sort of combinations can you do? Can uh, you punch, go- punch, 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 punch. Can you move and do all the and stuff? Or... Uh, uh, get up, Rocky, get up. Shagging the floor. I'm up! Fucking hell, you got no health. Okay, I'm a beat, I won't be beat! I'm beat! <laughs> oh, take a call, man, Carl. Anyway, that's that. That's two hours. Two hours? Two hours. Double episode, maybe yeah. we'll split it in two. I was thinking about that, but the first half, I don't think we said anything. Maybe we'll split it in one, I'll split, but I'll, the second half. I'll split it in two, and I'll call uh, the first first one will be the games that we played, and the second one's basically all the topics and stuff that we talked about. But put them both up at the same time. Yeah, they'll both up at the same time. That's what we do. Confirmed. Confirmed. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe on the YouTube page, please. Yes, and uh, feel free to check out our other shit videos as well. Please do, yeah, because we have many. We do. They're picking up, and we're getting better. Maybe not today. Not but today. Generally speaking, <laughs> I mean, a lot of it comes down to the games that we're playing. So please suggest games to play uh, and the news that exists. Wah! Yeah, there's not much going on. Uh, it's so that time of year, isn't it? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? E3's coming. Fucking hell! Do you know what? We won't be able to keep up with all the shitty news. We'll have to. You'd just be out of work. 
Well, what we'll prioritise? That's what I'll do. What I'll do with that is I'll steal loads of trailers. Mm -hmm. Anyway, fuck that. Right, I shall see you later.